Then, how's everybody doing this morning? Good news, everyone. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> awake. Tickle, tickle, here comes the pickle. <laughs> Uh, well, welcome everyone to uh, this morning's Paper Scandal or Pixel Scandals edition of Paper Scandal. Uh, it this is the second Saturday of the month, so we always we have our traditional Saturday morning game. Uh, instead of bringing to you Dungeon World as usually planned, uh, we're going to do a one shot adventure: West Falls Follies. Uh, because Kurt is at Big Bad Con, and we're going to go forward without him. Aren't we excited, guys? Yeah. Well, I'm excited because Kurt's gone. <laughs> Yay! Someone else is in charge. Um, right. Well, well, cool. So, uh, obviously, it's October. So obs. We, obs. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, move forward with a uh, hopefully uh, creepy spoopy game tonight mm. or today uh at 9 a.m in the morning that's always super successful <laughs> uh but let's jump right in so uh, our setting today is um it's the 1950s uh our players here are all uh high school students and uh let's kind of go around and get everybody to introduce their characters uh end of line you want to you want to start us off sure uh, my name is Graham, and I am about 16, almost 17 years old. Um, I am kind of a little bit nerdy, a little bit of an outcast, um, pretty smart, very curious, um, but also a little bit socially awkward, as they tend to be. Um, but I get along with everyone. Um, pretty well. Awesome. All right. Uh, Night Sun. Uh, I am Bill, the, uh, pro, or, I don't know, captain, I, I don't know sports, <laughs> <laughs> of the, the, uh, captain what? of the sports ball team. What did we just have this week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, captain of the sports ball team. Uh, of Manson uh, Webster High School. Yes, Manson Yeah, Manson Webster. Webster. Yeah, that that's yeah. super special right there. The Manson Webster Eagles. Yes. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Um and uh yeah. And you're Bill's a little slow. Bill's a little slow. I I'm, I'm, okay. I'm I'm method acting this morning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well cool. All right, uh Resdies. Uh, I'm playing Johnny Reed, uh, the bad boy from the wrong side of the tracks. Mm. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a stereotypical greaser type fella with a switchblade and a pack of smokes. You know. Uh, yeah, that's about it. He also attends the school. He's got a little brother who may or may not come into into this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Awesome. All right, and last but not definitely not least, Handor. Uh, I am Roger Sinclair. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wealthy. I come from a wealthy family um, with a very rich, wealthy um, neighborhood that I live in. Uh, I'm very confident because I am the best, of course. Um, uh, noble, blah, blah, blah. Those are tough, some of my attributes or whatever uh i guess some of my uh, what i wrote in some of my bio and info uh i have a sister yeah the, uh, you should have just said it <laughs> all right uh so i have a sister named sarah and i i have a nephew uh that may or may not come into play as well okay um, we'll see how that goes i yeah. also i also attend the uh, manson webster uh school so are you like class president uh yeah for sure because you're like mr popular mm -hmm. smooth yeah. good good talking to everybody yep yep yeah. my, my charisma is like a, i think it's like a 62 <laughs> well uh and to uh let our audience know uh everyone's gonna be playing savage worlds today 
Um, and so, uh, yeah, you do actually have some uh, some charisma. Uh, I think you're at a plus two. So in in Savage Worlds that's speak, a lot. that's a lot of charisma. You yeah, it's like sixty. It's, it's, it's like sixty-two. Like in uh, it's IRL sixty-two, and then Savage it translates to. I mean, you could right. get a sixty-two in Savage Worlds. It's just mathematically improbable. You'd have to get. You'd have to take everything. Yeah. Yeah. And several a lot times. Of raises. And a lot of raises. Well, awesome. Okay. Well. Uh, let's go ahead and, and jump in here. So the gang, four of you guys, are hanging out at uh, the malt shop at Walt's Malts. Uh, it's just after just after dark, um, and this is your your kind of your regular hangout for a for a Friday night. Um, if obviously if you guys weren't taking some girl to the sock hop or something like that. <laughs> is it? Uh, what time of year is it? Uh, it is fall. It, it is fall. fall. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and so I will be. It gets dark kind of early, right? I would yep. like to be in a table in the back, um, having a. I guess there'd be a soda fountain sodas, but having a soda and I am I am studying. Okay. Nerd. <laughs> what do you? Where are you guys? Kind of. Are you all together? Or are you hanging out together? Or are you? Is he off by himself? Yeah, he, he, yeah, I let him be by himself. Okay. All right, so you guys are kind of hanging out, maybe putting some music on the jukebox and uh, just kind of enjoying the uh, the the atmosphere there at Walt's Malts, having having a, a soda or a milkshake or a malt or whatever. Um, and you hear the, the like, the dinging of the bells on, on the door. You know, that, that kind of iconic, like, ding, ding sound as mm -hmm. someone comes in the door. Like somebody pulling through a gas station? Yeah, kind of like that. But you you hear him as the door as the door opens, and uh, you sh see Sheriff uh, Sheriff Hannity walk in the door. So this is you know this is a small town. Everybody knows Fucking each other. Sheriff Hannity. Sheriff Sheriff Hannity walks in the door. Son uh, of a bitch. He walks up to the the counter, and uh, pulls sits up, sits at one of the stools and kind of beckons for Walt to come over and uh, and talk to him at the counter. Um. Who's kind of who do you think is sitting closest to the sheriff at this point? Not it. I am I am leaning against the counter or okay. getting ready to order my Okay. So you're kinda of hanging out by the counter and uh, you see Sheriff Hannity. He he looks his face is very like drawn and he looks kind of upset. Um, which is pretty typical for Sheriff Hannity. He takes everything very seriously in his mm. small town. Um, and he kind of leans in to Walt, and uh, and he, you hear him say, "Yeah, it's a, it's a damn shame that uh, there's a kid, there's a kid missing." And Walt looks okay. really concerned, and and kind of leans in and starts asking him questions about about the kid. All right, so I'm gonna like just like like lean like slide down the the thing. Okay, and, get try to get closer. Get, yeah. Are you trying to be like nonchalant about it? Oh no, not at all. I'm the popular okay. kid. My <laughs> my my parents are friends with the. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I've, I've never had a a, uh, a driving ticket. Right. You have probably so, gotten pulled over, but never gotten a ticket. Right. Exactly. In your what car? What car is it that you drive again? It's a <laughs> it's a 1948 Ford Deluxe, uh, coupe. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's a car uh, from Greece for everybody that doesn't know. Yeah. So you you kind of lean in there and you hear you hear Walt. Don't go, worry about it. Don't worry about it, nice son. You hear you hear Walt say, "Little Tommy, little Tommy, Martson. That's that's not good. What? Oh. Uh, How is his mother? And uh, and." Uh, Sheriff Hannity says, "Oh, she's a mess. She's down at the station. Uh, she's she's real upset." Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna like spin towards the the officer and be mm -hmm. like, uh, "Tommy, my nephew, Tommy." He kind of like jumps because he didn't realize you were sitting there. Yeah. Um, and he's he's like, "Oh, oh, 
I'm really sorry, son. Yeah, uh, seems, seems he didn't get home from school today. Uh, damn. Um, okay, so I'm going to run over and tell the guys. I'm going to especially, first thing I'm going to tell is, uh, um, Johnny. So I'm, I'm, where, where are you at, Johnny? Uh, sitting at one of the tables, drinking a uh, Pepsi, Coke, Coke, because there's still cocaine in it. <laughs> okay. So I run up to you, practically spill your drink, and be like, "Hell, man! Tommy's missing, dude." Who's Tommy? Are you kidding? What? You know how many Tommies there are? There's like six of them. Which one are you talking about? You gotta be more specific. My nephew, Tommy. He's gone. He went missing after school today. Missing after school? Yeah. Like, they, they said they haven't seen him. He, hmm, he, just, he didn't make it home or what? He's just... Who didn't see I him? I don't know, man. The police officer. Cop, uh... Hey. Uh, what's his name? Sheriff Hannity. Sh Freaking Sheriff Hannity. Is it only Tommy? Is Tommy the only one missing? Well, I heard him say that he was missing, and then I came over here. So, I honestly don't know. Well, did they check the pond? The pond? I don't know. I just heard him say that Tommy was missing. And then I came over here. Yeah, it's only been, school's been out for what? A couple <laughs> hours? At least. You can't just like pay somebody to go find him. Are you guys serious right now? We what? should go look for Tommy. Sure, but I mean, you could just, okay. Sure. So, um... so Johnny, you would know that your little brother, Joe, uh, is best friends with Tommy. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I'll go ask Joey when the last time you saw him was. Alright, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home, and I'll ask Joey if he's heard anything about it. So, you wanna, you wanna come with me? You wanna give me a ride? You can go. Well, you can come with me. Well, we're going Man, to I'll my home, you. so I think you should come with me. <laughs> but we can take <laughs> your car. I'm driving. Sure. <laughs> so who's going? Me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna go tell Graham too. Who's Graham? Just wanna just, oh, he, that I, guy. He might actually prefer just being being left behind, but I. I sure. Feel you bad. know what? Let's bring the whole malt shop. You're impossible. I'm gonna go talk to Graham. So I'm gonna waltz over and talk to Graham. Hey, uh, hey, Graham. Uh, I just found out my nephew's missing. Um, how long? Uh, it's been like three hours, I think. Three, four hours. I mean, it's not very long to say he's missing. Maybe he's just took off for a little bit. Well, when Seems... Sheriff Hannity comes in, is making a pretty big deal out of it. I think. About someone not being home for three hours? Seems a little uh, overreaction to me. Okay. Have you guys, like, checked around, asked his friend? Maybe he's just hanging out with a friend or something. No, no. We're going to go to my house, and I'm going to ask my little brother. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sounds logical. I want to go for a ride in the Deluxe. To go look for his, your brother that's been missing for home. three hours. I mean, it's my it's my nephew. I, I've got a, I'm sorry, your nephew. I, I've got a big test tomorrow. I, I need to study for it. I I think you guys are making a big deal out of nothing. I'm sure he'll turn up. It's only been three hours. School on a Saturday. Gee. So you want to stay here then? What class is your test in? What's that? What class is your test for? Um, algebra 2. And it's on Monday, sorry. It's, if it's Saturday. Uh, Damn. 
three bucks and I can get you the answers. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to cheat. It's not cheating. Studying. You're just studying very specific <laughs> questions. No, thanks. I mean, I can if you feel like you need help, but I, I again, I, I, it's a little, little odd. You guys are making a big deal out of kid being gone for three hours. I think it's odd that you don't care. Let's go, guys. Uh, <laughs> all right. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to study. The kid's been gone for three hours. Like, so, what? So, Graham, Graham, you're not you're not curious about what's going on with uh with Graham. I mean, there, I, there's nothing really to be curious about here. Like, a kid is gone. A kid, is, they don't know where a kid is for three hours. Like, it's not even. I, I don't even know why that's true, a thing. True, but it is after dark, and his family is the richest family in town. So they they would uh, they would take their concerns very seriously. And right. also, it's the 50s, and people cared about each other then. All right. I'll let out a deep <laughs> sigh. I'll, I'll pack my books. You don't have to go. No, I, I know. <laughs> I'll go. I'll pack my books and say, hold on, hold on, guys. You, if, you, if you're that nervous and freaked out, let's, let's, go, let's go find him. I knew he'd come around. All right. So uh, you guys head outside. And parked out there is. Uh... Are we gonna bring a uh, uh, bill? Oh, I've been behind you the whole time. Oh, hey. Being unobtrusive. I was gonna say, did you hear snarky <laughs> comments? <laughs> yeah, just, just causing shit. <laughs> All right, so you guys. I just hop like in. to be included. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be a member of a team. Guy. I can't left out. <laughs> Come on, team. I'm offended you didn't pick me first. <laughs> Are we, do we have to do like a team break before we go before we leave the we gotta do a huddle we gotta put our hands in yeah <laughs> eagles uh, I'm three go so eagles you, so you guys hop in your car and you head to uh, Johnny's house which is on the other side of the tracks because he's on the bad side of town yeah. uh, and so you guys pull up in front of uh, in front of Johnny's house Johnny what is your what does your house look like Shit. It's a double wide up on blocks. Little trailer house. Okay. Yeah. Even live, live over here? To the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love his his, his face is like oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> so there's you you see that there's lights on in in the windows of the of the double wide. Um your your dad's pickup isn't here though, so he's probably down at the bar. Oh good. I don't have to worry about another beating. All right, we'll go inside. Uh, Joey. Yeah. Joey. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, man, have you seen? Uh, Tommy. Tommy today. What was the last? Did you see Tommy today, your little friend? Tommy uh, Jarvis. Um, Tommy and I were at school. We yeah. Were, we played on the playground today. All right. What um, when was the last time you saw him? You didn't see him after school at all when you were. Oh, yeah, we home? we played after school too. Mom, yeah. mom said mom said I could go to the park. To the park. Okay. Where were you guys playing? Like on the swings in the in the sand, sand pit area. We were we were down by the the little creek. We were throwing rocks at ducks. Oh, all right. Did you hit any of them? Yeah. Cool. That's messed up, it. man. What? Man, what's up, dude? We're just being kids. So, you guys are the worst. They're little, you... they're little rocks. Yeah, man, they don't even hurt. They probably float. So, when was the last time? That was the last time you saw Tommy today. Whenever, when you came home after that, did you just walk home or? Mm, so, um, the sun it started get dark, and. I said I had to go home, and mm -hmm. Tommy had his bike. He's got a really cool bike. It's red and it's got mm -hmm. fenders, and we put the 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 baseball cards in it, and it made like the brrr sound when he rides, which is really yeah. cool. All right. I want a bike like that for Christmas. Okay, we'll get Where'd you. Where'd he one. go? Where'd he go? What? Where'd the, he go? Santa? He's in the North Pole. No, Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Where did, where did Tommy go? Did he go riding towards home? Oh, 
Yeah, he was having trouble. He got one of the cards stuck in his spoke and he was having a hard time. But I didn't want to get in trouble with dad. So um, he said he was so fine. And so I walked home and um, I could hear him riding towards his house after a little bit because I heard the cards go. Good. Okay. All right. Which well, direction did Tommy go? Toward, towards his house. Okay. Towards his house. So should we go follow along where he would go? Maybe his bike was having an issue and yeah. had to walk. Oh, to the pond, like I said an hour ago? <laughs> sure. No, I'm not allowed near the pond because the pond, if I fall in again, um, Dad said I'm going to get a whooping. Mm. Well, where would you find ducks then? At the creek. Okay, this is the third it reference so far, and we've only been playing for twenty three yeah. minutes, so I'm a little getting a little anxious here. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's go to the pond. All right, we'll be back later tonight if uh, Dad comes home or when. I guess I should say when. Uh, just let him know that I'm out with some friends. We're studying for a test on Monday, and uh, I'll be back a little bit later. Have fun. Okay. Watch your watch your your howdy duty. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. All right, so you guys head back outside. Okay. What t what time is it right now? Uh, so it's a it's a little after six. It's, oh, it's, okay. Yeah. It's getting so it's it's dark, but it's not late. It's All like right. dinner time. So the park by the creek, and he was riding towards wherever it is you guys live. So we could start okay. there. Okay. So should we check the creek first? Sure. Yeah, All right. So you guys, you guys drive down to the the park that's nearest uh, Tommy and Joey's school, um, and you guys know from when you guys were little that there's a creek that kind of runs behind the park. Uh, so you uh, you you pull up and you get out of the car and you make your walk across the the lawn, kind of hear the creaking of the swings, just kind of swaying in the in the wind. Um, and uh, as you get closer, you can kind of hear the water kind of trickling from the creek. I want to look for um, bike trails. Okay. Uh, make a notice roll. Notice roll. Notice roll. Roll it! Ooh. All Killed right. It. All right. So you got a a 9, which is a raise because in Savage Worlds your target number is a 4. Um so yeah, so you kind of go looking around. Um do you pull out a like a flashlight to kind of look around at the ground or are you just kind of doing a general kind of glance at the at the grass? Um the grass just looking around just something i want to look for the freshest um because i mean i'm sure there's other bike that's been here kids have been here it's sure weekends you don't have like a right pull like some fancy thing out of your pocket protector and be like hmm this grass looks like it's <laughs> these are these blades are bent yeah. um yeah no so you guys make your way over to the creek and you do see you do see some some kind of ruts in the in the grass um you know kind of running along the the creek Okay. Uh, I want to follow it. Okay. All right. Uh, so you guys start heading toward uh, down the the kind of following along the edge of the creek, and then the bike tracks kind of take a turn, uh, and it m moves off the grass onto the uh, the pavement um, at the at mm. the end of the park. Well, shit. Okay. Well, that's going to be harder. See, you kind of see some grass like tufts that kind of got rutted out of the the grass onto the onto the uh sidewalk there well he went this way so should we just what would be the logical path for tommy to take to get to your home from here yeah that's what i'm wondering is this toward, this is towards my house so it would be towards his house yeah and i, and I do know roger and i know each other pretty well so i know where roger's house is yeah you so. guys you, yeah i mean it's a small town so you guys would know 
yeah, from okay. here, which direction would, would be the right way to go. Um, I would suggest that we kind of fan out a little bit and follow along with where, where Roger's going towards his house and then see if you guys can find anything on the floor or see anything that would I kind of tell us where he might have went. Are we splitting up? Well, not splitting up, just like don't stay in a clump. Like spread out and keep an okay. eye out for anything on the ground and see if maybe right, so he went off the beaten path where we think he would have went. Okay. So we'll just start, we'll all start kind of... Uh, fan out and start walking towards uh, Miles. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so it is really dark and there's no moon tonight. Um, so it does anyone have a flashlight or anything like that on them? I don't think I packed a flashlight. Well, I, I have an invest. Right? I have an investigation uh, kit, and so of course I would have a flashlight. Absolutely. All right, so uh, everybody make a notice roll, and um, Graham, you can make that with a plus two. Okay. I brought bubble gum. Always useful. What? Huh? Killed it! How is that possible? You got a zero with your flashlight. You with shining it in your face? Two. How did you manage that? You it shine looks, it in your eyeballs. Looks like you should have gotten an eight. Yeah, I rolled. I rolled notice. I rolled it, and then it says modifier. I said plus two. Maybe I just need to do two. Yeah, just push two. So wow, maybe that's a weirded it effort. out. Or there you go. All right, cool. Ooh, and you blew it up. All right, cool. So um... the body is this way. I can smell it. <laughs> so yeah. So. Uh, Johnny, Bill, and and uh, and uh, God, I'm blinking right now. Bill, Johnny, and Roger, you guys, um, as you're kind of walking along the street, you you don't really see anything out of the ordinary. Um, you don't really see any more grass. Uh, but uh, Graham, you find mm -hmm. a a baseball card that's kind of like bent in half. Laying on the ground. On the road, on the side of the road. So it's on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. Kind of heading the direction you'd expect to see it. I'm sorry, guys. What, what did he find? You found a, uh, a baseball card, like a bent baseball card. Uh, came off of his bike. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys keep going. Um, and uh, after a bit... You find, uh, you find Tommy's bike. Um, oh, it's shit. it's laying on the ground, uh, kind of haphazardly dropped. How far? What okay. are we like a a good like mile and a half, two miles from my house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll fan out around the bike and see if there's any movement around or like stuff there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, so, just gonna, I'm just going to yell out from Tommy. Tommy. Uh, okay. Um, does, uh, will you guys make an investigation check for me? Yeah. Everybody or just those two? Everybody, anybody that's looking for okay. uh, more specific clues. Anybody that cares about Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't. <laughs> All right, John, Johnny super failed. Um, okay, so a little, uh, just slightly down from where the bike was, um, uh, Roger, you find a melted ice cream cone. What the hell? So there's like the cone there, and there's like melted ice cream around it. Yeah. That's this is, what'd you odd. say, like down a hill? It's just like a little ways away. It's just a little ways away, kind of moving, so moving. Yeah. Where would he have gotten ice cream if he came from the park with your brother, and then he was riding his bike home? Some freaking. Did your brother have any money? Like, did he have an allowance or anything? He could have maybe had an ice cream truck come by, and maybe he bought it. My then? brother? No, we don't care a lot. Uh, Roger's nephew. Sorry. My oh. nephew. Yeah. Yeah, he's he he's always got like a school money. Might be more than some other people. Maybe an ice cream truck came by? 
and he bought some ice cream? I'd hope so. But at this hour, yeah. that's really well, three why hours ago. Just, why would he just ditch his bike? Um, I want to investigate the bike. The bike and the ice cream. I want to investigate the bike and see if there's any mechanical issues that might have been why he abandoned it. Okay. Uh, do you have like a uh, repair or um, or a knowledge skill that would? I have a D four in repair, so not okay. great. Um, it is not trained either, so okay. no, I'm not good at repairing. Okay. Um, do I you want to ask? Uh, yeah. yeah is, is anyone else here? Is some anyone know about bikes? I don't know about bikes. I've never had a bike. Parents thought it was too dangerous. Can someone come take a look at this bike and see if there's a reason he might have left it here? Sure, I'll take a look at it. I fix up bikes sometimes and resell them. I mean, it's a nice bike. I don't think he would have just left it here for no reason. I, mean, I know you guys he are wealthy. Have. I know you guys are wealthy, Roger, but you're not that wealthy. Let me, let me take a look at it. Okay. All right. That's got to be a Ooh, an eight. Okay, uh, so yeah, you you go over the bike, you look at the, the the chain and the spokes, you you check over the the tires to see if there was, you know, maybe a hole in it or something. Um, you kind of mess with the the steering to make sure that like maybe something hadn't locked up, um, and it seems to be in pretty good working order. You do notice while you're kind of going over the bike that the side that was on the ground. Um, I mean, this whole thing is like in pristine condition, and there seems to be some scrapes along the paint on the side that was on laying mm. on the ground. All right. Yeah, it looks like uh, this bike got knocked over at one point. It's got a little bit of paint scraped off here on the side, but aside from that, good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's workable. It's a brand new bike. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like it, except for the scraped paint right there, but. It's got to be. Yeah, there's. Oh, I mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't work. Why he couldn't keep riding it. So, if that's the case, I mean, I don't want to scare you, but then there's a reason he ran off. I mean, he dropped his ice cream, got off of his bike that he loves, and it's a nice bike. Why else would you do that unless? you were running away from something. So now I'm going to start investigating, looking for, for, for cause this is in the grass, right? This is on the, like the cement next to the road, like on the, I think if I was a kid and I was on a bike, I would think that the bike would be the quickest way to get away from something. If I was trying to get away from something, unless he was already off the bike when something happened and then it was faster to run or, or that. Um, So he has ice cream. Had ice cream. Okay. All right. I want to see if there are any spun out or tire marks showing that a car or truck would have sped off from the road near where the bike is left. Okay. Go ahead and make an investigation. Especially wider tires like an ice cream truck might have. Right. Yeah. Go ahead and make an investigation roll. And I believe uh, you get a plus two to investigation. Yeah, you do, because you have an investigator. That is a seven. Okay. Um, so, yeah, kind of looking at the, the street, kind of going up and down the street and looking at um, uh, where a vehicle would be, um, there, there are... There's like one very small mark on the ground that looks like someone probably like punched it. Punched the ground? On the ground? Well, no, Burn, like burned punched, rubber. Burned rubber. How wide are the tires? Does it look like a car or like a van or truck? Are they a little wider than you'd expect? It's it's a little wider than than a car. Was it close to the bike? It would. The marks are <clears throat> right up next to the curb. Hmm. Okay, so then, basically, taking that 
um, mark going in the direction of the ice cream. Keep going. Anything up there? Uh, so you move on down the road. You keep looking, and um, you don't see any more uh, signs of, of a vehicle or of uh, ice cream or anything. Is anyone familiar with an ice cream man around this town? I am not. Mm -hmm. I know. So, yeah, I mean, you guys being from this town, you would know if there was, uh, like, a local ice cream man. Um, and you guys don't really remember ever seeing an, an ice cream truck around town. Okay. Okay. I say we head towards the direction he was going with the where the uh, the cone was. Let's we should investigate down there. Sure. I'm gonna take the bike and like move it behind some bushes and try to hide it and conceal it so nobody you don't just leave it sitting here on the side of the road you afraid somebody's gonna steal it yeah yeah so okay mean, before he does you mean, yeah you're afraid someone's gonna steal it and that being some someone not you well yeah but i mean because so i know how this works if you just leave a bicycle sitting on the side of the street and it's a nice bicycle somebody's gonna take it so i'm gonna hide it in the bush we can come back and get it later i say they're taking it right now <laughs> no i'm with you guys I was with you the whole time. Okay, so yeah, so you you pick up the bike and you kind of stash it in the bushes near we'll the. Come back and get it later when we find road. Tommy. Okay, all right. So where are you guys headed now? Do we look? Do we? We already uh, walked up to the ice cream cone and we're down by the. Because that's like just a little ways off the bike and still in the mm -hmm. grass, right? Yeah. Is there any? Is there like a? Uh, is it just? Like wide open, or is there like woods and? So, um, from coming from the the park area where there was a lot of trees and kind of moving into the woods a bit, um, this is kind of back towards town. So it's moving into like a neighborhood area. Okay, so it's like more houses and stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is you're moving towards kind of the nicer part of town. This is going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to see if I notice anything just from the area that we're standing in. If I can get a, uh, a direction or, or maybe, I'm just going to see if I, if there's anything that I will notice. Okay. Go ahead. We're... Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to. Like my character is smarter than he is. Notice. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nine, because you blew up your d6. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so you you kind of start walking, ba basically towards home. You're kind of canvassing, looking for anything that stands out as out of the ordinary. Um, and you, you guys kind of come upon your aunt, your aunt Sandra and like a group of like 10 people. Um, they all have flashlights and they're all kind of walking around yelling Tommy's name and, and kind of canvassing the neighborhood. Oh, wow. Okay. So Sandra's actually, she'd be my sister, right? Yeah. She's your sister. So, she's your aunt. She's your sister. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So your older sister. Yeah, yep. And so we come upon basically the 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 families that all know each other mm -hmm. and they're all canvassing yelling Tommy and Yeah. Yeah, they're like Tommy. Tommy. Okay. So obviously I'm going to run up to my sister and be like, "What the hell is going on? Have you seen Tommy?" We're look we've been looking for him. We were we heard that he went missing at uh uh Walt's Malt. Uh, have you found him? I mean, have you found anything about him? We found, we We've been found looking his everywhere. Bike. We found his bike down <laughs> around the, the curb down the road uh, in an ice cream cone. What? Somebody. His bike? He wouldn't go anywhere without his bike. That's what I thought. It oh was, he just ditched it and the side of it was all scratched up. Oh my God. I'm so worried about him. 
Uh, we need to call Sheriff Hannity and get him over here to look at the crime scene. Actually, that's a good idea. So she kind of, like, looks at one of the other, like, adult women that are there with her, and she, like, shoes her off to go call Sheriff Hannity for her. Like, okay. Your house is right here. Go call, go call the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we do? I, I don't know. I mean, keep looking, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I mean, an I, did you say an ice cream cone? Why, yeah. why Why would he have an ice cream cone? The only place you can buy ice cream is at Walt's. I have no idea. And there were, uh, Graham said that there were tire tracks. T tire tracks? What? And she kind of looks at Graham. She's like, what? What do you mean tire tracks? What kind of tire tracks? They looked wider than a normal car. And I heard a couple of towns over, they have a truck that actually de delivers ice cream around neighborhoods. Like, it has, like, a refrigerator on the truck. Um, so we couldn't think of where he would have got ice cream either from going from the park to coming home. So we thought maybe it could have been an I one of those ice cream trucks. The, the, the rubber burnout on the street looked like whoever was stopped near him took off in a hurry. And the marks were a little wider than a car's, so we thought it might have been a big truck, and it might explain the ice cream. Oh my god. Uh, well, I've got someone calling the sheriff, so I'll, I'll, I'll meet them. At, you said it's up the road? And she kind of points back the way you guys came. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, okay the, I'll the head bike's there hidden and, behind and a, the The bike is hidden behind a tree. Why was the bike behind a tree? They, they hid it so no one would steal it, so that... Oh, you oh, guys hit... Yeah. You hit Johnny. It. Johnny. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll I'll go meet the sheriff up there. Uh you you keep you guys keep looking for Tommy. Yeah, we'll find him. We'll find him. She like pulls you into like a tight hug and then like starts running off in the direction you guys pointed. Okay. So, I guess uh we should just keep uh, looking, I guess. Keep go walking. Uh... I don't know where to go, though. Okay. So you guys where are you guys want to go? Well, we should probably go get your car. <laughs> no, it's I fine. Spoke. I hit it in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> the car's mint. All right, so you guys are going to start walking back towards the car. So, all right. We don't have a lot of ice cream trucks here in town, but where around here would, would somebody be able to store an ice cream truck? Like, I mean, if it was parked in one of these garages, somebody would have seen it at some point. So it, I wouldn't think that they would be here in the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, we're having this conversation on the way back to my car, huh? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know it's a, it's a long shot, but, well, I guess let me ask you this, Gidget. Are there telephone booths or, like, public telephones for, like, quarters in this town? Yeah, time? there's, yeah, there's, there's like, pay phones. Quarters. I mean, yeah. let me get... But it's a nickel. <laughs> nickel, <laughs> nickel, yeah. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> is there a... a, dime. It'd be a dime I, I want to stop and see if there's a phone book. Okay. I want to see All if right. there's any ice cream business listed other than Walt. I think it's Walt's, right? Waltz, right. Yeah, see if so there's the, any other ice cream business or ice cream truck the, business. The nearest, the nearest payphone would be, like, downtown by all the shops. So um, you guys would have to get back in your car and kind of drive that direction to go look through a phone book. Might take us out of the way. I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, I'm not sure where else we would go at this point, so I'm just kind of, like, thinking up ideas. What do, you, what do you guys think? Well, I think it's an excellent idea. It's the best we got. Okay. So you guys kind of uh, start making your way, walking back towards the car. Make your way. <laughs> everything you got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> careful, I have to pay for that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so you guys start making your way back towards the car. Um, you guys get over by the uh, the park and kind of far off in the distance, um, you, you start to hear something. Start to hear something, okay. Do is there a uh 
uh, listening? Do I have to roll a listening? Can you guys hear that? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a freaking ice cream truck. Okay. Hey, it's a freaking ice cream truck. That, you, that you've never seen or heard of before. Well, I mean, you guys have probably yeah. heard of ice cream trucks before. You're just, your town yeah. has never had one. No, but I mean, if you've lived in the town your whole life and there's not an ice cream truck, you wouldn't know the music for an ice cream truck. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah, well, we, I, I'm cultured. I've been places. Well, and if any of you watch the Andy Griffith show, you've seen an ice cream truck on there as well, so. I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> Do we, uh, yeah, you don't. It comes on during practice, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, so you guys hear you hear that that sound kind of off in the distance. Yeah, I'm gonna. You guys hear that? Let's go chase them. Let's go. Let's drive towards the. Uh... All right, man. Let's go. All right. All right. So, uh, are you are you in a hurry? Or are you trying to to chase down the sound? Yeah. To like roll down the windows, you know, like this actually. No, <laughs> I, 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 I put the I put the top down. Oh, you put the top down. All right. Now, is that is that uh, the sound cutting in and out? Is that an artifact of the way you're playing it, or is that literally the purpose? That's, that's literally the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Teddy yeah. Ruxpin with the battery dying. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. So it sounds Super creepy. It sounds wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So so yeah so why don't you make a uh, a notice Driving. check to see oh, if you can kind of over the roar of the engine of your car uh, keep the car going in the right direction. Okay. Well, I'm the best, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, you kind of, uh, you kind of are able to go in in sort of the right direction um maybe not able to exactly pinpoint exactly where the sound was when it stopped but you you were able to keep in the right direction um and you think you're within a couple of blocks of where the sound was when it stopped playing and you guys are in kind of the older uh dingier part of town like the like where it's like starting to get run down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You mean where we started? Yeah. <laughs> um, kind of even past Johnny's house, like like. So his next door neighbor. <laughs> so no. you're you're in you're definitely no, she's in out at a soccer game. J Johnny's uh, side of town. Um, and we were only to able. I, I was only able to make it within a couple blocks of the sound. Yeah, but not like city blocks, like neighborhood blocks. You know, four houses, four houses, four houses, <laughs> small blocks. Okay, and so you, like a like, like a real a urban. Because hmm? I, I blocks where I'm from is it's a mile. Okay, yeah, not a mile block. Like okay, like, <laughs> like a couple hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like four houses, and then a corner, and then four houses, and then a corner, small, small block. All right. So yeah, so you guys chase down that ice cream truck sound until it stopped, um, and and now you're you're in the general vicinity of where you think the sound stopped. All right. Hmm. What? Well, obviously we heard it over here. Just well, let's go towards the 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 sound of the just ice cream truck. Drive around the block a couple times and yeah. for something it looks out of ordinary. Stands out. Yeah. Okay. Uh so you kind of slowly uh drive around um several of the blocks. Uh do you guys want to make uh investigation rolls or notice rolls, whichever one's better for you, um to see if you spot anything. I'm still I'm still Roger from the block. <laughs> uh Johnny rolled us a a, a full on one. You see nothing. Nope. I'm canvassing the neighborhood. Yep. The only thing he's seeing is shit he can steal. All right. And Roger got a six. Bill's. Oh, is that three yours, Bill? Yep. 
for this notice. Okay. And Graham also got a six. Uh, so yeah, so you guys, you see a lot of really like old dilapidated, um, houses. Uh, and as you're kind of coming around a corner, kind of down at the end of the street, Roger and Graham, you, you think you see like the front end of like a, a delivery truck, like the grill sticking okay. out from from like a shed in in the back oh, behind the house. All right. And it's kind of this this old house that's sitting at the end of the block um kind of all by itself. They're too poor to have that much ice cream. <laughs> oh no. So that's what the house looks like there. All right, Bill. Whoopie house. Whoopie house. Graham, Roger, let's go check out this freaking house. My door's I ringing see... in just a second. Okay. Hold up, guys. Let's we can wait. See... We should. We, we can see we his should... front door, so we can see who it is. Yeah. Oh, is it? maybe it's, it's a. Looking... Is this where we're gonna see him get murdered by someone? Oh my <laughs> god! Got a big box. Oh my god! Time out. Game time out. Hold on. What did he get? He got a oh, box. it's his computer chair. <laughs> oh, he got a he got a new computer chair. I guess so. Can nice. we can we take a break and do a uh uh opening? What do they call that? Unboxing. An do unboxing. an unboxing. Yeah, we're gonna do a computer chair <laughs> unboxing. How wonderful yeah. would that have been if I had scheduled someone to come and like kidnap oh you? My God. <laughs> we're gonna swat them. Uh, that would have been so great. Yeah, I just had homework Kurt's delivered to me. Not really a big bad con. <laughs> Kidnap. Yeah, he just shows up in a clown costume and grabs me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, just, and you hear know. ice cream music in the uh, as he right? opens the door. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because of all of you, uh, you would be the easiest one for us to get to mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, all right. So going back in, so you guys are sitting uh, as you come around. I don't think I like the, that statement. You'd be the easiest one to get you to. You would be. I, I oh. do think I need to be moving. Nerd Cub, <laughs> has, Nerd Cub has his partner at home. Uh, uh, Handor is on the other side of the country. And uh, Arestes is also, you know, like too far that way for me to drive. I mean, if it was <laughs> a matter of you moving, though, you would have three years ago when you Asian ghost girl out across the, <laughs> on the other side of the fence staring at your house i was gonna say also your apartment is like towards the back corner of your mm -hmm. apartment building kind of easy to kidnap you as soon as the stream's over i'm going to you know there's going to be a montage of me setting up home alone traps <laughs> <laughs> okay so we'll go and get jumping back in here so you guys uh you're in the car you come around the corner you look down the street and you see this like old dilapidated house um, and kind of sticking out of the back shed, you see just the front end of what looks like a white delivery truck. All right. There's the truck, guys. All right. Go look around. Okay. So are you guys going in stealthy? Or are you rolling up with the engine rumbling? What's your, what's your plan? I, I, I'm thinking we should call the police. This this is no a call the, this is a call the police type of situation. This is not no a way, go man. go check out some creepy house with some possible kidnapper slash murderer ice cream there's, truck person. There's four of us. What's murderer? We we could take him. Murderer. Yeah. He's just an ice cream guy. Who may have kidnapped your nephew? Uh, you, okay, you want me to go? Maybe just... he wanted to. Maybe he wanted to borrow him to help him hang some shelves or something. I'll just go. Let me just go up there and Maybe. take a look around the house real quick. I'll just, I'll just snoop around and then I'll come back and let you guys know what's, what's going on. Are okay. you gonna go check it out by yourself? Yeah, I'll just, yeah. Trust okay. me, well, I won't be I'm, seen. I'm way better than this at you, so I'll go with you. You're way better at what? Breaking and entering? I don't know. <laughs> Everything. Everything. <laughs> okay. Snooping around. All okay. right. All right, so uh, Bill, guys, are, you're are both you... pretty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bill, are you going uh, with them, or are you hanging back? Um, 
What would a jock do? What would a jock do? Well, I'm I'm going to <laughs> it, it investigate the truck. Okay. All right. So are you guys, uh, like I asked earlier, are you going up quietly and trying to sneak up to the house? Are you pulling up with the engine roaring? What What's the plan? I'm going to try to sneak up to the house around the side and start peeping in through windows yeah, and I... seeing what's in there and stuff. So we you kind pull... of press the car down the block a little bit and then walk yeah. up to the house? Yeah. Ha. Okay. All right. So roll, roll stealth for me. I'm stealing home base all the time. <laughs> All right, that's a seven from Bill, a seven from Johnny. What do we got from Roger? A 15. What the hell? Oh my gosh, you blew up. How is that possible? You blew, you blew up you, twice. You blew up your D6 twice. So it rolled a six and then a six again. And then it said it, oh, it, it should have only been a D4. Yeah, so you ha you're untrained. So it's actually a D4 minus two. Um, because you're not trained in stealth. And so you roll, like I was explaining to you the other day, uh, your D4 and your wild dice, which is a D6. Oh, the you wild those, dice. The wild That's dice. Right. So you, on your That's D4, right. you only got That's a three, right. but on your D6, you got a six. It rolled it again. You got another six. It rolled it again. You got a five. I told you I'm, the, I'm you got better than you. I told you, man. <laughs> Untrained That's stealth of 15. You get a I'm minus the, 12 for yelling across the front yard. I'm better than this. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> okay, so you guys kind of uh, uh, quietly sneak your way up to the house. Um, Bill, you sneak your way towards the truck. And uh, Graham, or, uh, Johnny and Roger kind of sneak around trying to look for uh, entry points into the house. Um Bill, as you get to the the shed, um, you see that uh, there's this big white uh, kind of parvan type thing um, that has like a hand painted clown face on the side, um, and it says ice cream on it. And on top, there's like a big megaphone that like the music would have come out of. All right. He's obviously going to do shit with that information. Um, <laughs> and while you're walking around the truck, uh, you feel like the heat coming off of the engine. So it obviously was parked very recently. All right. Is it unlocked? Uh, the So are you going to try to get into the back or into the driver's seat? The back. The back? Okay. The back is locked. <laughs> oh, right, then, I, then I would try the, the cab. Okay, so you open the cab door. It's unlocked, um, and uh, it it looks like the interior of a, of a I, truck. Can I? Does it have an access to the the back area too, as well, or? It does. Yeah, you want to climb up into the truck? Yep. Just wants ice cream. I'm getting ice cream. That is 100 <laughs> yeah. percent what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you climb up into the driver's <clears throat> kind of looking around, and you notice that there's an opening into the the back of the truck. It's really dark back there. Um, but you, you make your way into the back of the truck. I hope this shit's poison. All right. Uh, so I'm going to grab some ice cream, um, and I'll, I'll bring some stuff back for everyone. Okay. Surprisingly enough, no ice cream, lots of meat. Yeah. So you kind of, <laughs> there's, there's no light in the back of the truck. And so you're kind of feeling your way around. You kind of bump into things. You kind of hear some like metallic stuff knock over um eventually you feel like the front of um like the lid of a of a freezer like that would pull up and open um so you you pull that open you immediately feel like the cold air i hide my eyes from the <laughs> uh you immediately feel the cold air from the uh the the freezer kind of kind of hit your your face and your hands as you open it um and you start do you start to stick your hand in there yeah, try to feel uh, around for stuff? Ice cream. okay um so make a make a notice check okay dead body dead body okay so graham graham's kind of nope, hanging ice out cream. Graham's, <laughs> graham's hanging out by the uh by the the he came in through the passenger door um, and he's kind of like trying to look back at you while you're you're in the back getting ice cream. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the owner of the truck coming, so I'm kind of like being okay. a spotter. Okay. And uh, uh, 
So you, you stick your hand in there, grasping around for... for <laughs> you, you feel something kind of um, oh, no. sticky. Well, ice on, cream. On your hand, yeah. And so you, you, you pick up your hand, and you can't really see what's on it, but your hand definitely feels sticky. Lick it. Well, I, I'm gonna go Roll a, a lick. Cone. Roll for a lick. So you're looking to Roll try and find a cone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like a pre-made cone or like a cone that you would put ice cream on? Uh, something to scoop it, the freezer made food into. Okay. So you, you find, you find like a little, uh, while you're <clears throat> around, you feel like, oh, okay, this is like a cup, right? May not be a cone, but you feel like, okay, this is a cup. And then you heard all that metallic stuff earlier. So yeah. you're like, there must be a scooper around here somewhere. Sure. Um, and so you feel around and you grab something that you're like, feel it. And you're like, yeah, it feels like a spoon. And so you reach in and you you start scooping up whatever this sticky stuff is and start putting it in your cup. I am it's giving him stuff. It's ice cream. Okay. Yes. I, I am giving him the most shocked and disappointed look. <laughs> <laughs> and you can barely see him. You kind of see his outline from the very small amount of light that's coming from like the the street light that's way down on the other side of the block, um, kind of shining in there. So you kind of see like the the outline of his shadow moving around in there, and you hear the the tinking of him grabbing things and the like the kind of squishy sound of him scooping ice cream, and um, this is awful. and you're also kind of keeping keeping a lookout. So uh, Graham, you want to make a, a a notice roll for 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 lookout for me? I kind of want to fail. <laughs> uh, notice. Okay. So yeah, so you're sitting there, you're you're keeping an eye on on uh, Bill back, Billy back there. You're kind of looking around. Um, I mean, all four of you kind of came up to the house at the same time, uh, and you and um, Bill kind of made your way to the truck while. Johnny and um, Roger move towards the house. So you kind of see one of the guys kind of skirt around the edge of the house um, at one point where the light just kind of hits them and you're like, okay, they're over by the house. But you don't see any other movement or anything going on the street. Um, and, uh, and Bill comes out from the back with his, with his cup. Well, I, I hand it back to Graham and then I'm going to make more. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah. he, he hands you your, your, your cup. Um, are you gonna are you gonna eat your your ice cream, Graham? Tyler, no, is... absolutely not. I'm not gonna eat <laughs> some strange ice cream from some possible kidnap slash murderer. Okay, uh, so Bill's back there scooping up his books. next scoop. Uh, Graham, you're kind of looking around, looking, you know, ma keeping watch. So you're not really, you're just like holding this cup full of ice cream in front of you um you start to while you're holding it you start to smell kind of this like foul smell kind of a kind of a i don't know rotting smell really who who smells it uh graham graham smells it so are you gonna <sighs> yeah you know, look down I'm going... at your cup yep <clears throat> okay so you you look down at your cup and it's i mean there, there's obviously something really dark in this cup um oh. whatever whatever the sticky stuff is maybe it's dark chocolate i was gonna say it's it, obviously it, rocky road but it's 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 obviously whatever is in this is really really dark it's a dark color dark but what it color smells smells really bad well it's really dark in here so it's it's hard to see what exactly is in this cup but it doesn't it just it there's there isn't like a mound of it like ice cream should be um it's just kind of coagulated blood filled in the bottom of this cup does it look like bill has ice cream in his hand um i mean he's he's coming out from the back with his cup that he he scooped out i'm gonna run and slap the ice cream out of his hand okay <laughs> Okay. So now you're dude. Both in the truck. <laughs> so your your cup. Do you want to make an agility roll to try to move your hand out of the way, so you can't slap it out of your hand? Do. <laughs> you are a football guy, so. 
Aha! Was obviously get slapped. Carrying he, carrying three ice creams at the same time. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah. not prepared, and so he hits your hand, and whatever was in here goes flying. Uh, you kind of hear like a, a squishy splash sound on the the side, the inside wall of the truck. I'm gonna so whisper. Like, I'm gonna wi- I'm, I'm gonna talk like whisper really loudly, like Bill. It's not ice cream, and I'm gonna hold it up to his nose. Okay, you smell this really nasty rotting stuff. Oh, the ice cream's gone bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't yeah. think it's ice cream. I'm going to go back in. The, I'm going to jump in the back of the ice cream truck now where he came out, and I'm going to okay. use my flashlight in the actual ice cream um, oh, case. Okay. Okay. Um, so you, you open the lid again to look inside. Um and the smell isn't actually as bad here, probably because of how cold yeah. uh, it was. It kind of warmed up uh, is why it started to get smelly as it was sitting there in your hand. Um, but as you open it, um, there's like what looks like a mixture of blood and uh, maybe intestines kind of filling the bottom inside of this... Uh, this freezer, uh, and I'm gonna need you to make me a spirit check. I believe I get a minus two to spirit, right? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Let me see. Let me pull up your character sheet here. Um, no, oh, minus, minus two minus, charisma. I have uh, something down here. Oh, my it said minus you, one. Oh, you have rolls. minus one to spirit if you're scared. So this this would be a a scared roll. So yes, right, you have I'm gonna, minus one. I'm gonna reroll oh, it. You're right. Yeah. So the minus one. There we go. Okay. Uh, so so you open it and uh, you see you just see all of this nastiness inside. Um, can I get you to roll me a d20? That's never good. You don't want to roll d20s in Savage World. That's a bad time. <laughs> slash roll base 20, I think. Yeah. D20. Slash roll d20. Okay. Oh. All right. So you uh, you you start to, to gag uh, and, and throw up a bit in your mouth a little bit from from this, um, and uh, you you you're pretty terrified. You're you're feeling pretty pretty yeah. shaken. Your heart's racing, um, and uh, you kind of like stumble back a little bit, bump into the counter behind you, and and you're, you're kind of breathing really heavy. Does Bill see this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bill doesn't see what's in the freezer, but he definitely sees you fly back. And, I I and kind of heave out. over and like hold my chest, and I just like hold out the the flashlight to him. Dude, I didn't know you're allergic to dairy. You should have said something. Look in, look in the freezer. All right. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make me a spear check. <laughs> Why? Why would you? Should... <laughs> Cause you need to see. Okay, yeah. So you look in there, and uh, I mean, it's nasty. But you, you, you have that. You've seen guys get punched in the face. You, I mean, you've been in a guy's locker room where guys have pulled pranks and like left shit in each other's lockers. So you've you've got a little bit more of a. What uh, high school do we go to? Stomach. I love. Um, you, I did love... Na- you did name our high school Manson. <laughs> so. you know you guys pulled pranks on each other i i'm sorry i'm just going off of shit that's happened in my own son's locker room in the last six weeks so i, I love um, that you're what you're, <laughs> we'll talk about yeah. that later <laughs> i love that your go-to comparison for why he's callous to uh bloody intestines is because he's seen cock and balls in the <laughs> locker room and shenanigans basically the same thing <laughs> same yeah. thing yeah uh hmm. So yeah, so you 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 see it, and you're like, oh, nasty, and you you know let the the lid drop. Um, and now that you kind of have your flashlight on, you can swing it around and see like the the red flash up on the wall that uh, that happened when he hit the cup out of your hand. Um, the way you guys is are there trying. There's a sink to... back there. There is no sink. No. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so while you guys are kind of recovering from that, um, Johnny and uh, and Roger, Roger, you guys sneak Raj. up to you Raj. So you guys kind of sneak up to the house. Um, where where would you head first? Front door, back door, windows. Um, probably around the side, in the windows, not a door. Okay. Um, are you gonna head in the same direction together, or are you kind of splitting up? Well, um, I think that I'm leading. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll let him go first. All right. So you guys kind of uh, sneak your way up to the the, the house. Um, there's like a big front porch that kind of wraps around the whole house. Um, you guys the kind porch of porch wraps around the whole thing. Yeah, like a big wraparound porch. Mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, it's a big old house, so it's got a big wraparound porch. Uh, but you guys kind of uh, stay to the the bushes and grass around the edge of the house, um, being very stealthy. And you you come to um, the back door of the the house, and there's there's a door, and then there's kind of two windows that are really dirty and and kind of crusted over with with dirt and dust and stuff that flank either side. Okay. Looks like this probably opens into like a mud room type type room. Alright, I'm gonna totally try to... Blood room? Yeah, blood room. I'm gonna try I to said definitely... mud room. I'm gonna definitely try to get in there. Okay. In, in one of the windows. One of the windows, I think. I'll check the door first, actually. Okay, so you reach over and try the knob. Um, Kind of jiggle it. It's it's there's it's definitely locked. Okay. Doesn't seem yeah. like it's a very heavy lock, though. Alright. I'll just be like, to Johnny, I'll be like, It's locked. So, okay. I'm gonna reach yeah. for the. W I'm gonna go for the window then. Try to open the window. Okay. So you kind of slide over to the window. Um, you go over and start to try to like pull up on it. Try to see if you can. It's one of those windows that the bottom slides up. Yeah. Um, and it it seems like the window's probably nailed shut from the inside. Uh, maybe we should go back to the door. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go over to the door. Okay. Pull out my switchblade and yeah. try to stick it in between the door and like pop it open a little bit. So you're gonna try oh, to yeah. pick the lock, or you're gonna Those, try to yeah. pop it open? Those um, doors, doors like that, man. Back at that in that time, you could just you could credit card those things, man. Yeah, just uh, pick the lock, I guess. Okay. Or so you wanna... lock picking with my switchblade, just pop yeah. it open. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna roll me a lock pick? How quiet are you trying to be? Um. Totes quiet. Okay. Super quiet. Okay. Yeah, so you you kind of get your, your switchblade in there in the in the frame and you're able to kind of push back the mechanism and you the door kind of pops open. Um the door itself doesn't make any noise when it opens, but it kind of rubs on the ground a little bit, so it kind of makes like a, a scraping sound a little bit if you were to push it any farther. So I'll just is it wood? Is it wood floors or carpet? Uh, it, in this room, it's it's a wood floor. So I'll just kind of back out of the way, and all right, doors open. Fearless leader. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna step. I'm just gonna step in there and try to do another. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna investigate. I think. Right? Okay, so you're gonna try to like quietly squeeze through the gap in the door. Or are you gonna push it open more? Oh, that's right. It did get stuck on the thing. Um, can I? Try to lift it up, lift it up by the doorknob to see if I can get it to do it. Uh, swing open a little more by uh, pressing why against the hinges. Why don't you make a uh, a strength roll to see if you can get it up off the ground enough to not scrape? Okay. Uh, so you you kind of pull up on the handle a little bit, and the door handle itself slides up, you know, like when they're loose oh, in the thing. Super and so the, loose. the door didn't move at all. It's just the doorknob kind of slid up when you pulled up on it. Okay. But the door doesn't go anywhere. Well, I'm going to try to slide through then. Okay. 
All right. Um, why don't you make uh, an agility roll for me to squeeze through there and not trip as you're kind of trying to get through? All right. Yeah. So you're you're able to just kind of like suck it all in and take very careful steps to kind of like maneuver your way around the the little bit of a crack that's in the door. That's enough for for you to squeeze through. All right. And I tell Johnny, I say, uh, hey, you should have no problem getting through here, you uh, greasy. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. You want to make a uh, an agility roll to squeeze through there? No. I'm going to start going around the back of the house towards the garage. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. So, he's like, okay. And uh, you turn around, and you're standing in a very dark room. Um, there's no lights on in the house anywhere, uh, and with the windows as dirty as they are, the very little bit of light that would come through from outside, um, doesn't kind of penetrate into this room, so it's, it's really, really dark in here. Okay. I do not have a survival kit, so... Um, I'm gonna take my time, I guess, and try to let my eyes adjust to the dark, if I okay. can. Okay, so you're going to stand there and and wait for your eyes to adjust to the dark, and very slowly details start to come a little clearer into view. It's still pretty dark in here, but um, the little bit of ambient light things, you can start to see like the out the shadow of, um, of like furniture and countertops and and like the doorway at the other side of the room going into the foyer. Just enough I'm not, like, kicking everything and stubbing my right. toes as I walk through. Right. You, you start to, you're, you're able to start to make out what's going on around you. Maybe not okay. in detail, but but you can not trip over yourself. Because you're okay, letting your while, eyes while, while I'm waiting for my eyes to adjust, can I also do, like, a listening, like, just to, like... Sure. Yeah, make a, make a notice check. And this will be an, a hearing notice check. Cool. Okay, so you got a seven. So yeah, you're kind of standing there. You're letting your eyes adjust. Um, you're kind of very like listening intensely to the silence in the house, and you you feel like every once in a while you think you hear a noise upstairs. Okay. Like above above you. Okay. Okay. So Johnny, you kind of skirt your way around the house, and while you know Rod, Raj is standing there letting his eyes adjust, you make your way over to the garage. Um, and uh, about the time you get over there, uh, you, uh, you you see um, Graham and Bill kind of making their way back towards. They're inside the truck, and they're making their way out of the back, back into the the front cab part of the truck. What's guys find in the truck let's find ice cream uh it's not ice cream no 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 what well, what is it it's an ice cream truck what else would there be in it um not ice cream okay <laughs> sure that sounds great um uh, uh raj is inside the house uh he went in uh inside so i Figured it would be a good idea to come let you guys know that, um, I mean, we don't have his keys, so I don't know what you guys want to do about that. I wouldn't go in, I mean, you don't go inside the house without making sure that there's nobody in the house first, in my experience. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we should, probably should call the sheriff, though, um. I, I'm 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 liking that idea, um, because ice cream trucks tend not to carry a bunch of cow meat in their freezer. Meat? Okay. Yeah. Is it like a like butcher? Is yeah, it's butcher? like a traveling butcher or something. That's weird. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So where? I mean, I don't think... And it doesn't seem just... clean at all. It's that, just not a... Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure it would be a good idea to knock on the front door and ask if we could use his phone to call the sheriff. So we should probably... Well, we do need to, you know... We, we definitely don't want the sheriff to show up and have Roger inside the house and have him get arrested. Mm. Again. Are you sure? Again? He's been arrested? 
Yeah. Like three or four oh. times this month. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah, but it never sticks. Yeah, it never sticks. But it's it's like ruins the whole night. Mm. Okay. Uh well I mean Well what do you guys wanna do? Uh we could go get him or try to get him out of the house and then Yeah, go let's the let's go do that. Or we could just go we could just go and if it doesn't stick, I mean, there's really no reason that we have to not let him be in there when the sheriff gets here. Um, aside from this place, how close is another house? So this house is kind of st sitting by itself at the end of the street, um, back up the street where the car was. There's like two or three kind of really old uh, shack type houses nearby. Nothing that looks like it would have a phone of some variety, though. This, yeah, it, 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 this is probably a really poor side of town, so they're probably lucky if they have a party line at this point. Um, so you'd probably want to make your way back. Ooh, party toward... lines. Where do you make <laughs> calls from, Johnny? Uh, what? John, John, oh, yeah. Johnny's family probably has a party line that he shares with, with several other families. Yeah, there's a phone in the in the trailer park. Um, yeah, I, I think we should get, because that's, that's a little bit of ways. We should probably get Roger out first, then we'll, we'll call the sheriff, and then... Okay. So, you guys make your way back to the back door, um, and you are standing there, uh, ready to, uh, try to extricate Roger from the house. Roger! Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a, a quick break right here with Roger standing inside, and you guys coming to the back door, we'll take a real quick, uh, like quick five minute break, and then we will continue with our story. Sound good? Sure, yep. sounds good. All right, we'll be right back.
Alright, so we are back from our break. Uh, we left off with Raj in the house, just inside the door, waiting for his eyes to adjust, listening so to the creepy creaks of the house. Uh, I penetrated um, that house. And the, uh, the, the rest of the gang uh, kind of decided they needed to call the sheriff, so they've come to the, the back door to try to extricate Raj from the house. So Raj, while you're standing there, kind of listening to house noises, and mm -hmm. you know you think you hear something upstairs every once in a while, you also, after a few minutes, think you you hear like a child crying every once in a while, while you're uh -huh. standing there waiting for your eyes to adjust. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna normal. start walking. What? It's perfectly normal. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking. Uh, start looking for. I'm going to start going deeper in this house. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you start to make your way pat, uh, through the mud room uh, into the next room, um, which is uh, like the kitchen area. Um, mm. and I'm so going to look for a knife. Okay. Uh, are you going to like open drawers and quietly try to find a knife? There's no knife block. Oh, okay. So why don't you make a notice roll and see if you can find, like, the knife block sitting on a counter. All the knives are missing. So you guys come up to the back door the truck. and you guys start to, like, hey, Raj. Roger. Uh, Roger. He's, he's not answering you. Yo, dude, we're gonna bail. Go get the sheriff. Get out. So, yeah, so you're, while you're you're looking around for the knife, um, you you start to smell, like, a rotten food smell. While you're kind of moving oh. around the kitchen, bad ice cream, uh, and you you start to feel kind of queasy from the smell. Um, can you make a like a vigor roll for me to sure. to not throw up from the the rotten food smell? I have the best vigor. Yeah, so you're you're this is pretty nasty, but you're able to kind of like hold it back and, and steal your stomach. Um, I and... too have spent some time in the locker room. So. <laughs> and uh, you find, you do find like the wood block that's sitting um, on the, on the counter that's, you know, should have a bunch of knives in it. And there's like one, one like big knife in. in yeah. Yeah. I'm going to grab the big knife. Okay. All right. So you guys are standing at the back door. You're calling for Raj, um, and you're not. He's not responding. What are you guys gonna do? Be less quiet. Okay, so you start calling louder for him. Yeah, Roger. Let's let's go. All right, Roger. You're not too far into the house. Do you want to make a a notice roll? See if you hear him. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so you definitely hear them. Um, you can decide whether or not you're going to go back and, and respond to them. Um, but you you do hear Bill kind of calling out for you. Okay. I'll Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, tiptoe quickly back to the... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, back to the uh, door. Okay, so you make your way quietly back With to the, the door. Yeah. All right, and all the guys are kind of standing there, huddled around the door, kind of... Wait, like trying to get your attention. Guys, what? Yeah, I'm we're gonna get... the knife around. What do you guys want? <laughs> we're leaving. We're gonna get the sheriff. Uh, you should get out of there. We don't Dude, want to. I can hear, I can hear Tommy. Mm. What? Are you, are you sure about that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 That's my whole answer. <laughs> um, if you hear Tommy, then we may not have time to wait for the police. Then, as much as I hate to say that out loud, and I'm hating myself for even saying it, but maybe we can't wait for the police, and so we need to get in there. All right. But I'm totally open to someone else saying, no, that's a bad idea. We should call the cops and get away from here because I'm okay with that, too. <laughs> I'm waiting I mean, for another voice of reason here. As much as it goes against my very nature, I think we 
should get the police involved. Okay. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm 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 good at sneaking around in places, but usually when nobody's home, and definitely not when there's kids around. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a neighbor's house near here? Like, how close is a neighbor? Uh, so back the direction where the car was parked, there's like three or four kind of dilapidated looking houses. Um, but uh, if you guys go back a little further back towards the uh, the trailer park, um, you might be able to find like a pay for party line at Johnny's house. Okay. Does anyone have any change? Change? Yeah, change. Okay. I've got some change. I think. Give, give me your money. Wow. Well, uh... Just give me your money. Do you yell <sighs> that? Yes. Okay. Really? Well, not super loud, but like sternly loud, louder than normal voice. Because like, really, you're just not going to give me your change right now? Like, just give me your freaking change. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, okay. How do I, how do I want to do this? It's it's That's up to you. You can you put your hand in your pocket. Yeah, you can just say you, you pull out some change and give it to him. You can say <laughs> you know that you go with him, that you stay here. Well, I just I just wonder with my gear, like how much do I have? If it's only cash, you can you can have the, whatever. That's use discretion. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have three silver pieces. <laughs> I mean, you're, I, you're a I, teenager from a rich family in the 50s. You probably have a billfold and some change in your pocket. Three silver, 50 coffee. Three silver, 50 copper. Tree fitty. I give, I, give, I give you, I'll give you change. Okay. All okay. the change. I am going to sprint um, as fast as I can to get to that payphone. You Okay. But I'm going to make you note sure. of the address before I go. You most certainly have asthma. You have to. I do not. I do not have asthma. Thank you for why stereotyping. Did, why don't you make me uh, uh, let's see here a uh, vigor roll. an asthma check? Really, Katie? No, 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 no. Make make a vigor roll. Okay. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna lean over and whisper to uh to Bill. Hey, Roger just got shook down by a nerd. <laughs> so, so Bill, Bill and Johnny, do you guys stay there with Roger, or do you take off with him, with Graham? Well, I'm still trying to encourage Roger to get out of the house because he doesn't want to be in the house when the cops show up. Yeah, I'm going with I'm going with Graham. Okay, uh, make a be... make a vigor roll as well. Uh, Graham, here. you you you're fine. You can I mean mm -hmm. you you can run. It's not like you can't run. Um, but you definitely Johnny like, has asthma. <laughs> you both you both tend to scout on PE quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah for I'll Johnny, my, it's definitely. Smoking. Yeah, I use PE to I use PE to read. Yeah, so you're you're not in shape. You have a doctor's uh, note. You're you're not. <laughs> yeah, I have a doctor's note. You know, so you you guys both run for a little bit, and then you're like, oh, I gotta stitch him aside, and so you have to like slow down. Um, so it it's gonna take you a little time to actually run to where you're trying to get to. Um, from smoker's lung and and uh, lack of physical <laughs> activity. Okay. Okay. So those two took off running. Um, Bill, you're trying to convince Roger to get out of the house. Which is going to be tough. So are you, uh, do you want to make a, a persuasion roll against? No, it's just call. Are you, okay. So he's just trying to convince you. You get to decide what you Yeah. Well, where the hell did everybody else go? To get the cops. They ran to go Jeez, call the sheriff. Huh? Sorry, no, I, I, I should have, I forgot it was Roger. I should have spelled that out when I went for the change. <laughs> Change is for phone to call cops. Right. To get cops to house to rescue nephew. Okay. I just feel like I could do it for the year. All right. So, so, you're so what, hit, is, what, what, but are what you is what is what is the house then? You could try to convince you, Bill to come in with you. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Bill you should come in. All right. Yeah, Bill. So why don't you, why don't in, you make a persuasion roll to try to persuade Billy to come inside? With yes. You. This is going to be easy. Yeah. Don't forget to add your charisma. Do I get a modifier for this? 
I smell. You get, add, you get to add your charisma, so you add two. My emphysema. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> get. Okay, so this wrecked. is against another player character, so <laughs> he he gets to decide exactly um, how this this succeeds or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He, well, well, let's hear your argument. I like. A, I yeah. want. I want to hear a fifteen argument. Yeah. There's ice cream upstairs. Oh. What is your argument? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. You're gonna have playoffs, right? Playoffs coming up. Okay. Right. I'll pull up the lawn so, chair for this one. <laughs> what better way to signify yourself as the greatest player in 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 the in our town and even our most rival town than to be not only the lead quarterback, the star of the of the baseball team. But also the person that saved somebody's life. Dude, you'd make it in the papers. Papers, eh? Yeah. Dude, they'd probably have a, 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 a freaking festival for you every summer. <laughs> Do like parades. Right? Yeah, dude, you'll be in the, you'll be in the newspaper. There's going to be... Best All right, well, the baseball team. There's going to be well, a paper mache freaking float of you. Paper mache. That's fancy. Fancy. That's fancy. They're going to build a statue. In so the I start pond. trying to force. I just it's like, okay, that sounds reasonable. And I try to force the door. Okay. So and you. And I, I failed the first time. So I make a decent amount of racket doing it and then yeah. eventually get through. So you, you did you spend a Benny to reroll? Or are you no, just going to continue? It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because you rolled double ones. That's awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, so you you shove your way through the door. It makes a huge racket, uh, kind of pushing your way. But the door is completely open now, um, and and a little more lights coming in. You guys can see the the a little more detail in the mud room and a little bit more detail into the kitchen. That's the room that come you can see into next. I'm gonna be like Bill. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Got what you wanted. All right, so our our two asthmatic friends over here. Uh... Yeah, so I'm we're running towards those houses, yeah. and I'm so tired. That by the time we get to to uh, Raj's car, I'm just gonna hotwire his car and drive the rest of the way. I don't want to run anymore. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to make a repair you... a repair roll to hotwire the car? Yeah. Who's hot? Who, wait, whose car is he hotwiring? Yours. Yeah, you You're left the top me. Here. You ran one block. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's hard running. <laughs> yep. So yeah, you you run over to the car. You're winded. You slip underneath the dashboard. Well, uh, grab, get in. You hot wire the car and 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 get that running. This is faster. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are you headed? In your uh, in your hot wired car. To the houses with the phones. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you're most familiar with the the uh, familiar familiar yeah. with with the uh, trailer park, see, which is nearby. So you head over right. to the trailer park. Yeah, let's um, go punch it. Yep. So you go, you get into the the trailer park, and right there, um, right inside the kind of the gates is uh, is a payphone. All right, go, Graham. Right there is a the phone. Okay. Put a okay. nickel in. Is that the sound of you putting change in, or? Ba-ding. Mm-hmm. Ba-ding. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you you call the the sheriff station and yep. uh, you you get dispatch. Hello, dispatch. Hi there. This is uh, Graham Daventry. I I am calling about a kidnapping. Uh, you've been kidnapped. No, no, no. Uh, another child has been kidnapped. Um, we we already have one of those. You already have one of what? The the reported kidnapping. No, no, no. we found we found we found the kid. I'm calling to let you know where the child is. You need to send the sheriff over immediately to come out. He's being stored in this creepy house uh, with this ice cream truck, which is the truck that was used to kidnap him. And there were blood and guts and stuff in the ice cream truck. So we think he might murder this child. So you need to hurry up. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have an address for me yep. of where? 
and I, I made a note of the address before I left, so I'm going to read it out, and I'll even give descriptions to the house. Okay, all right. Uh, so you, you give her all the details, and it's okay, well, Sheriff Hannity is over at the, uh, over at the Sinclair's. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get him over to you guys as soon as possible. How far is the Sinclair's from here? Opposite side of town. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in the fancy, uh, fancy side of town. Are there any other houses around here? I mean, you're in a trailer park. I'm going to go banging on doors and like okay. try and get some help and say, hey, there's a child kidnapped. This is this is like in the 50s, right? What time uh-huh. is it? OK. Yeah. yeah. People would help each other back then, you know, when society yeah. was actually, you know, society. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go bang on doors and be like, hey, there's a kid kidnapped in this killer's house down the street. We found blood and stuff and he's trapped and we we need help. And try and get like two or three men, or women to come and help us. Okay, so you 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 and Johnny go running around the 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 uh, the park, knocking on doors. Um, you you get a lot of um, like kids that are are home alone, and several of them tell you that their parents are um, at the big gathering for the the canvassing of town that everyone's gathering in the park to do a canvas of town. Just so you know, Graham, you're trying to you're trying to gather the clan to, help, to assist you. And so, so basically, all of the grownups in town are meeting Park because they're gonna canvas the whole town together. Well, so there aren't a, there aren't really any adults in the trailer park. So I we're hosed. We should, then we I just need we, to go back. I think we should just go to the park. How many people can car. fit in the car? Yeah. I'm sure they all have their own cars. Let's go. Okay. All right. So you guys get in the car and you start yep. heading to the park. Yeah. So back back to Roger Hall Hill. Oh ass, Johnny. Yeah. Oh ass. Are you driving recklessly? Of course. You want to make a drive check for me? I do want to make a drive check. An untrained drive check. My car gets check. fucked up. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Fuck I don't have a you. car. We will and come back two soon. characters die driving to get <laughs> <laughs> So you're having a hard time. Con- this 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 car is a beast. I mean, it's, it's got a lot more engine than you're used to. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you're kind of swerving. You, you're running into the curb. Um, and, and you're having a hard time kind of controlling the, the power of this car. Yeah. Uh, but I uh, look cool with the top down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys got the top down too. Yeah. Why don't you make why don't you make one more drive check to see if you're you can get the car under control? Well, I really want to keep the car under control. Oh yeah. Ooh. There you go. So yeah, so you, eventually you're able to uh kind of figure out how to how to deal with all the power of this this hot rod and uh you, you get the car on the road and you guys head on to the, the park. Um so Raj and Bill, so you guys are in the house. Uh, you start making your way into the house further, or yeah, mm-hmm. what, are you, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, making our way into the house. All right, so you make your way through the kitchen. Um, Bill, you smell like a nasty food smell, rotted food smell. Not uh, nearly as bad as the smell you smelled in the truck, so it's you, you're you're okay. Um, kind of make your 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 way through the kitchen into um into like a a large foyer area um and you see there's rooms kind of farther in and then there's like a staircase going up uh where'd you hear johnny upstairs well then we go upstairs okay let's go i got a knife all right so you guys make your way upstairs um when you get to the top of the landing uh there's like several closed doors kind of is it like down a hallway to several closed doors like you get to the top of the stairs and it's like a a... right yeah it's like a like a hallway with like doors off both sides all right um can we hear any movement or anything okay uh make a notice check Roger, are you going to make a nose check, too? Oh, sure. Where is my note? There it is. 
Okay. So, uh, you definitely build, build, you don't hear anything. Um, you, you kind of hear the wind whistling through the, the house and, and general like rustling sounds of probably mice or rats moving around in here, but you don't hear anything, um, that would draw your attention. Raj, you hear kind of down the hall in coming from one of the rooms, um, a, a, like a small banging sound. Okay. And that's okay. So we'll, I guess we'll head that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tell him, I, you don't hear, you hear that banging? So after you point it out, he's, you're able to, to hear what it is he's, he's pointing out to you. So you guys make your way down, uh, down the hall, um, and you come to the banging coming from. Um, do you want to go in, open the door? What do you want to do? I want to listen. I want to, okay. You want, <laughs> Bill, did you just open the door before you yeah. come at it? Okay, cool. So you throw open the door, um, and you see, uh, this is the little bit of light that's coming in through a window on the other side of the room. Um, it's kind of a child's bedroom. Um, there's like very dusty child's toy stuffed animals and things kind of around the room there's a bed um and you hear the the banging coming from like the far side of the room maybe under around the window somewhere in that area you think you hear the the banging sound all the way across the room mm -hmm. on the opposite side of the room of course okay all right so walk, walk to the other side of the room tommy tommy okay tommy. So, you, so you move to the other side of the room and roger where do you by the door too. I'm just gonna step right inside just a little bit inside the door. Okay. All right. So you with step my, inside with, with my knife at the ready. With your knife at the ready. Um yeah. okay. And um Bill, you kinda walk over where you're pounding sound, you kinda look around. Um make a make a notice check for me. Okay. And uh Raj, will you make a notice check for me? Sure. And before twelve. Yikes. Okay. So, uh, Bill, you hear <clears throat> you, that sound that you were hearing is actually coming from outside the house on the other side of the window. So, as you're kind of searching around, you're like, "Oh, that's where the noise is coming from." Um, Raj, you're kind of over there looking around with your knife on guard, mm -hmm. um, and then all of a sudden, uh, there's some movement off to your your left. And uh, the bed kind of rockets forward and smashes into the back of Bill, um, throwing him forward into the glass window. Oh, um, you geez. you kind of you kind of smash through the plate glass window, uh, cutting yourself as you go out the window, and um, you're starting to you, you actually start to fall out the window. Um, do you uh. Make a uh, a strength check to try to pull yourself back inside the window. Okay, so you're you're you kind of fell out the glass and the glass broke and it cut you, but you were you're able to hold on and stay in the room. Um, take one d eight damage uh, for cutting yourself on the glass. Uh, apparently, I'm tougher than that. <clears throat> You're tougher than the glass? Glass does not have an effect on me. Right. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of a surface cut. It's, you know, it, it, it pushed into your skin, but it didn't um, didn't really draw any blood or anything. But you, you are kind of smashed between the wall and the bed up against the wall. And you see this, Raj. You see the, ball, the bed go slamming into Bill. You hear the glass break. Um, and you hear him kind of like grunting, grunt on the other mm. side as he gets knocked out the window. Okay. But you can't yeah, see gonna... him anymore because the bed's in the way. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna drop my knife. Okay. And go run and try to like yank this bed. Okay. Uh, make a make a strength check. Just realize I said that I'm gonna yank the bed off. <laughs> yep. Sure did. And <laughs> okay. Uh, strength check. 
gonna be bad. Yeah, how good are you yanking off the bed? Oh, you're very good at I'm yanking so off good beds. at yanking off beds, man. Yeah. All right, so you go over and you start to pull the bed off of Bill, um, and you, you see that the bed was actually on, like, uh, a, it was tr trapped to something on the ground that, that launched the bed from the other side of the room. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, a mechanism. Mm-hmm, yeah. And so you, you pull the bed out of the way, and you start to pull bill back and you see that you know he he almost fell out the window but he's he seems okay he doesn't have any cuts or scrapes or anything he's just you know a little a little shaken from being <laughs> almost knocked out the window right all right so my thing is is i'm like okay, obviously this room is fucked but i'm very confused because i swore this is where i heard tommy well, now that I'm through the window, can I see whatever was making that racket on the other side? Yeah, so there, there was actually a, a a large tree outside, and one of the branches like slamming into the window. Son of a bitch! That was making the sound that that you were hearing. Okay. So now I'm just not in in a great mood at this at all. Um, no I'm just going to march out of this room and kick the next door open. Okay, so you kick open the next door, uh, and this is like a master bedroom. There's a large bed in the middle of the room. Uh, Another bed for thick, you. Thick, 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 lush carpet. Um, there's like a, a bookshelf and, and a chest of drawers in the room. Um, kind of as you kick the door open and set your foot down, the, the carp has, carpet has like a squishy feel to it under your feet. Oh. Okay. I'm going to chase him down and grab the knife on the way out. Okay. All right. Tommy. Where you at, Tommy? So you don't see or hear anything in here. Okay. On to the next room. Okay. So on this this side of the, the house, um, there's two more bedrooms that all kind of look like the, the master bedroom, the kid's bedroom, and then two more bedrooms. Um, they both have beds, chest of drawers, kind of the same general setup. Okay, but no sign of Tommy in any but of the rooms. No, but no sign of Tommy. Okay, um, is there an attic entrance? So you go looking for an attic entrance. You don't see any access to get up there. Hmm. Um... So let's jump over to the other guys. So yeah. you guys, you get to the park. There's like a large crowd of of people, um, kind of organizing and getting themselves ready to cut, like canvas the town. Jump out of the car, start waving my hands, saying, "Wait, stop! We found him." You see Sheriff Hannity, you know, notice you, and he walks over. He's like, "What are you talking about, there, son?" We we thought it might have been an ice cream truck that kidnapped the boy because of the tire tracks and ice cream left at the crime scene. Right. And we happened to be driving to town and we saw an ice cream truck or we heard an ice cream truck and we followed it to a house. And we went in the ice cream truck and inside the ice cream truck there's a bunch of blood and organs and intestines and all kinds of gross stuff. And then Roger heard a child crying inside the house. So we think the boy, is, Tommy, is in the house. Roger Sinclair? Yes. Where Where is Roger now? They're at the house. Bill and Roger are at the house still. Um, Johnny drove me over here to get you guys because we needed help. Okay, so he, like, calls for a couple of deputies, and he's like, let's go, and they start running towards their, their car and hop in the car and start heading, follow, basically following you to where yep. the house is. All right. Okay? You got a police escort. You guys got police escort. Yeah, we do. I have license to speed. You do have license to speed. <laughs> yeah, but not a license to drive, so you just move off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> eh, I it's mean, <laughs> we'll deal with that later. One There's problem no at a time. <laughs> All right, so you guys, uh, you guys are standing in the in the upstairs hallway. Where do you want to go from here? Um, okay, so I, like, I check closets and whatnot just to see if there's any roof access. Okay, um, so you, so you go to the other side of the, the split sides of the, um, hallway. On the other side, there's a couple more rooms, a storage closet, um, and, um, 
like a bathroom and and in the bathroom you find like uh, a bathtub full of like dark nasty water um kind of full in the bathtub uh which is gross and smells bad kind of smells really rank and and uh uh mossy <laughs> in here yeah, yeah so so one of these one of these rooms is a like a just a dank bathroom mm-hmm. okay yep yeah so just keep looking um if until we have explored all the rooms and if we do not find one or any way to get to the attic let me know or okay. or a tommy okay yeah <clears throat> so you guys explore the whole upstairs area you don't find an access to the attic um or tommy okay well then I'm going to go out the window that I've already found a way out of. <laughs> okay. Did you want to explore the downstairs area more? Well, he said that the sound came from upstairs, so I'm going to. Okay. All right. So you, you head out your window access? Yeah. All right. And, you... and I'm going to climb to the uh, the attic. Climb into the attic. Okay. Uh, do you want to make a climb check for me? Yeah. Roger, are you going with him? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you guys make your way out onto the um, and kind of skirt your way around the edge. Uh, you can see one of those like dormer type windows mm -hmm. yeah. access into the um, into the attic. And so you guys pull yourselves up there, kind of pull the, the, the dormer little shutter things off and crawl into the, the attic space. Um, it's really, really dark up here. Uh, there's bare, I mean, the various tiniest little light that you could possibly see coming in through that little dormer window. That's it. Um, the, the air in here is, is the best way to describe it would be thick. Like it's hard to take deep breaths, um, because of how, uh, how odorous this room is. It smells mm -hmm. like rot and decay. All right. Is there anything in here, though? Okay, so you start moving around in the room. Mm hmm Just and look around. Make a, make a notice check for me with minus two for low light. Why the hell do I always have trouble finding? It's in alphabetical order. Damn, it's, it's an N for notice. Oh. They are in alphabetical order. Want me to put a minus two on this as well? Yes. Okay. So even with the minus two, you guys both were able to kind of look around the room. Um, you probably have to like feel your way around so you don't trip or fall. Uh, you start to make out what looks like it kind of. It kind of looks like hanging meat like hanging on hooks that's what like you start turkey? to um like uh probably larger okay. larger uh animal products meat products okay. um as you get closer and start to like inspect them a little bit um they're definitely bodies they're definitely people that oh have been like hung up here nope <laughs> nope, nope just nope nope <laughs> so both of you make spirit rolls for me uh make your nope rolls your nope rolls. Yeah, making nope rolls okay yeah so after after seeing the gross uh gross stuff you've already seen today you you've sealed your stomachs a bit um, and you're able to, to kind of hold it together. Um, do you make your way back out the, the dormer window or you, do you try to find like the actual hatch entrance into the attic? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm happy with my solid. Nope. I'm just going back out the window. Okay. <clears throat> right, so you, you crawl your way back out the window. You make a climb check for me, please. Okay. Do you want to Benny that? 
Nope. Okay. <laughs> so you, uh, in your terror of, uh, of bodies, you go to climb out the window. Your footing isn't as as, uh, as true this time. Your feet kind of slip, and you, you find yourself kind of falling, sliding down the roof um, towards the ground. If you want, you can make an agility track check to try to grab onto the edge of the roof. You fly off the end. Uh, he is an athlete. Okay, so yeah, so you, you miss your footing, but your feet slide. Uh, you get to the end of the roof, and you're able to grab onto, like, the edge of the, the roof. Um, you can either try to, like, drop yourself down to the ground, which is a little far. You might twist an ankle, or you can try to roll well, strength. Well, it looks like there's an awning. On the oh, there's an awning uh, yeah. over the whole outside, so I, I would just be dropping down to the first floor. Okay, uh, so you roof. want to just drop down to the first floor roof? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Um... So what about you, Roger? What are you doing? Well, I, I realized that he just fucking booked, uh, bailed on me, so I'm gonna. You're not gonna bail. A bunch of dead bodies. Uh, noping. Noping. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back out too. There was obviously no Tommy. Okay, you wanna make a yeah. climb climb check for me? Climb out sure. the window. <clears throat> Would you like to Benny that roll? Nah. Okay, so you also slip uh, on your way out the uh, out of the door. Uh, Bill probably had some like slimy stuff on his shoe, and so it made it Must slick. Have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you go sliding down the roof. You want to make a, an agility check to try to grab onto the roof before you fall off. All right. So yeah, so you're able to get. You're kind of like you get one hand on there. You don't get like a firm grasp, but you you're like ah, and you get one hand for you completely fall off the roof and you're just kind of hanging there by one hand you're gonna drop down or you're gonna try to pull yourself up uh he's at where he uh, he dropped down to the to the lower okay roof. yeah i'll just drop down to the next one okay so you guys both drop down onto the the lower roof where do you want to go from here um well, we can't fucking find him anywhere yeah, I guess we go back down to the first floor and start looking around there. Okay. So you guys, <clears throat> you guys uh, easily, you know, make your way off the, the lower level roof. Um, do you go back in through the back door? Sure. Okay. So you make your way around to the back of the house, go back inside, um, and and start searching. You know, there's a living room, there's the, the kitchen, dining room. Um you you come to a door, uh, and when you open it, there's stairs going down. And Downstairs. about uh, about the time you guys find this door and open it, um, you you hear you can hear like a child crying down there, um, and you also hear like sirens coming up the street. Oh behind you. shit! All oh. right, um, I'll go down. Okay. So as you, you take your first step onto the steps, this is like old, like rotted wood. Um, and you have to be careful not to step in the wrong place to kind of break through the boards. Um, so why don't you make uh, an agility check for me to find sure footing? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. So. So you, your foot kind of breaks through one of the boards um, at one point, um, and uh, you you kind of stumble a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I'll roll it for you. As soon as he's – if he's going to slip and fall, I want to jump on his Oops. back. I did it backwards. There we go. All right, so your leg slips through, but you're okay. You're able to to kind of recover from, from your stumble. You don't take any um, – any damage or anything from falling down the stairs. Um, what did you say you were doing, Roger? Nothing. Oh, shouldn't I, that blow up? Uh, oh, that would blow up. Right, because I didn't. Monopoly. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 
<laughs> 16. So 16 damage against your eight toughness there. All right. So that's two wounds. So you <clears> take two <throat> As I go head first into the, down the stairs. Yes. So you, you, thank you for that, uh, calling, calling that blow up out <laughs> for yourself there. Uh, yeah. So you, you, you see, Roger, you see Bill kind of step on a step. The step breaks. He misses his footing and he goes falling down the stairs. Um, and you see him kind of sprawl out at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, pretty, pretty hurt down there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to make it down there uh, okay. more safely now okay. that I know that the stairs are. All right. Uh, go ahead and make a, an agility check. Okay. Yeah. So you're able to see kind of where he stepped and, and you keep your feet a little more sure. You do definitely have like a places where the birds kind of start to bow a little bit, but you're able to hmm. navigate your way down the stairs. So you get down there to the bottom to Bill. Okay. Clumsy oaf. All right. Ow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to try to <clears throat> see if I can't help him. Like, Okay, so first aid would what, be a what? healing a healing roll if you want to try to like bandage yeah. him up and and get him back on his feet. Okay, he healing it is. Mm -hmm. or... Three, you're not helping. Nope. So yeah, so you're like, does it hurt right here? And you're kind of like moving him and ah, because yeah. you know he's got like a couple broken ribs from the fall. I'll All right. Walking walk off. Walk it off. Okay. Well, I uh, guess I will try to um like become aware of my surroundings. Okay. So you try to like let your eyes adjust to the darkness again down here? Yeah. Okay. So what you guys are dealing with that, uh, you guys pull up uh, with the sheriff and his two deputies out front of this house. Um, the sheriff gets out of the, the car and with his, his, you know, megaphone, he starts saying, oh, we've got you surrounded. Come out with the child. And uh, the deputies start like fanning out, like, pulling out their guns, trying to approach the house slowly. What are you guys gonna do? Uh, Cops do their job. Okay, you just try to make stay... it up back up the stairs. You, you so you two are just gonna try to stay out of the way. And I'm gonna. Try well, I'm to... helping. I'm gonna sneak over to the stealth over to the cop car. Do they leave okay. any of their guns in the car? Uh, I mean, there's the the like the rifle that's on like the the rack behind the. Cool. The I'm gonna seat. grab that out okay. and cover them. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Just you now, <laughs> you now have a rifle that is is loaded. Yep, I'm gonna be leaning because it's the fifties <laughs> over the back of the cop car, over the hood of the car with the rifle. Let's okay. And uh, Graham, what are you doing? Graham, I think his mic is muted. His mic is muted. Oh, sorry. I I'm wondering if they're still out front, like on the side of the house. So I'm going to run over to warn them to get away from the house. Because I don't know they're inside right now. So Okay, so you're trying to warn the cops that your friends are around? No, I'm actually going to go to the house. Oh, okay. So yeah. you move you move up to the house. And you see that, like, you move around the side of the house where you left them. And the, the back door is, is all the way open and you don't see your friends. Okay. I peek in and look around to see if I see any of them. Nope, you just see the dark house. You probably see some, like, disturbance in the dirt on the floor. Like, footprints and things of them I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in and out. I'm gonna step out of the door, and I'm gonna okay. wait for the cops to come in. Okay. Um... Okay. So the you you get the attention of one of the deputies and uh, he's like, get, get for here, like he's <laughs> he's upset that you went up on the the, the onto door the back porch. This door was closed when I left and it's busted open. 
I think Bill and Roger are inside. Okay, so he he'll make his way up onto the porch, kind of like it's like get out of here, kid, like trying to trying to get you to go away. Uh, he he starts to make his way into the house with his gun drawn. I'll follow behind him. Okay, okay, and he keeps trying to like no, get out of here, get out of here. My friends are in here. I'm not leaving. Okay. All right. And Bill, you said you're going to try to climb up the stairs. Well, yeah, I hear them there. You know, they're there and so yeah, you start, try to You start to hear like thudding, like footprints up or footsteps upstairs. Uh, I yell, "Hey, we're downstairs." Okay. We're here. Uh, we so heard, when we you, heard him downstairs. When you guys yell that the the deputy hears you but um you guys hear like some some scraping sounds coming from like the other side of a wall that's in there with you and the wall is like slats of of wood and you can hear movement oh like the, the old side. school mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, okay. the room that you're in is a lot smaller than you would have expected the the basement to be like it's like this small room and then there's obviously more space, like, through this weird slatted wall that you can hear mm. movement on the other side. I'm gonna... Oh, God. My head hurts. Uh, your head hurts, as I said? <laughs> he did fall downstairs. Because you, 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 you used it to break your fall? Um, <laughs> I kind of want to... Fall down and hit your head too, so he's not alone. I uh, know I'm already down there. I managed to actually, you know, navigate stairs like a normal human being. Uh, no, I I'd have to assume I'd be pretty freaked out. I am gonna kind of just chill by by uh, by Bill. Okay. With my knife. Uh, okay. Uh, so the you, you you hear the footsteps up above you moving moving closer to you guys, um, and you start to hear like a a scraping sound like um, maybe somewhere in the wall there's an opening and you hear someone something's moving toward you through the opening in the wall kind of low on the wall near you. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, so I perceive this as a, something's coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. How Don't much do you... down here with us? Come yeah, quickly. Yeah. Uh, how, but how watch much... out for the stairs. They're a bitch. <laughs> how, how, how much do you weigh? I don't Bill? know. A decent amount. Like, are we like? You're teenagers. <clears throat> so yeah, probably... but he's he he's the athlete, and I'm I'm like just the popular person. I'm wondering if I if like if I could drag him. Well, I can move. I'm not dead. Yeah, you you can help try to help him up the stairs so that you guys move a little faster if that's what you're trying that's... to do. Okay, yeah, I guess I wouldn't have to necessarily carry him. I could just be like a, uh, what you might call it, like a crutch. Yeah, like he just lean, under his... yeah, he could. Yeah, he could lean on me. Okay, um, so you guys, if you want to try stairs, um, you can make a, an agility check. To, uh, to climb back up the stairs and uh, normally Bill would have a, a minus two from his injuries but he... oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how could you do how could it be uh, a zero he rolled a one and he had a minus two oh. from his wounds <laughs> yeah uh, so so I mean you're like trying to drag him up there right like you're doing okay you know where your feet are supposed to go but he is just like this dead weight like he just he, he he can't he can't get up those stairs i really shouldn't have said what i said i i when i was talking about whether or not i needed to drag him and then you guys are like no he can walk just fine if you want you could, try not. Make, you could try to make a strength check to pick him up and carry him upstairs if you want okay Uh, would you like to Benny that, or do you want to stay with two? I haven't used one yet. I'll Benny it. How many do I have? You have three. three. 
Actually, I think you might have four. I think you have luck. Yeah, you have four. Oh, okay. Okay, so you just roll it. You just roll it as if it never happened. You just roll it again. Right. Yeah. Uh, strength, you said? Uh-huh. Boom! There you go. All right. So you, you, you're you able to kind of get up underneath his arm. It, you didn't get a raise, so I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not going to say you're able to, like, fully pick him up. But you're at mm -hmm. least able to get most of his weight on you as you try to, like, get up the stairs. Yeah. So okay. as you guys are kind of coming up the stairs, um, you're kind of halfway between the bottom and the top. And uh... you see the deputy uh, kind of emerge from the top of the stairs. And he's got his... Okay gun pointed at you guys he's his arms are shaking and he he's freaked out oh gosh uh yeah uh don't shoot don't shoot it's uh it's roger and and bill and he's like boys get up here get up here um yeah, we're, we're trying you guys you, from behind here but from behind you you hear uh you hear someone moving around behind you um Make a unnoticed a notice check to look behind you. Okay. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Roger's walking forward and Bill's kind of like... Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, nice to never lie. So, uh, a, a knife comes flying at you, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and it, it hits you. In your butt. <laughs> Call shot, behold. Uh, but it doesn't hit oh. you hard enough, uh, to, to actually, like, embed itself. But definitely the, as you look back, you guys see what looks like a, a, a man in a white uh, uniform that's all tattered and like covered in blood, and it's got rips and stuff. And he he threw a knife trying trying to get get you in the back. Mm-hmm. You also forgot to do strength damage. Oh right. Oh. <laughs> oh, blow up, blow up, blow up! So big, so Oops. big. Oh. I just I just that rolled a ten. Up. That blew up a d ten. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, 17 damage. Seven, eight, nine. So that's a nine, and you have a five toughness, so you take a wound. That's three, I think, huh? How is that a nine? No, what? this is The this two is one wound from the strength, and then, or I mean, the two, da the weapon damage, and then seven for the strength. So seven right. plus two is nine. Math. Yep, so you have one, you have one wound. Oh, that's one wound for Roger, right? So the, you think yeah, the yeah. game would be better at this? Um, so, you know, uh, you get hit in the back with the knife, you kind of, uh, stumble and, and drop Bill a little bit. Um, the, the knife gets you kind of in, in the shoulder blade. Um, Bill, I wanna throw my knife. I want to throw my knife back at him. Okay. Make a, make a throwing roll. You have a minus one for your wound. Well, the, it calculates it already. Oh, does it? Okay. It's actually cooked into it. Nice. Uh, mm. would, would you like to Benny your roll? Don't do it. <laughs> you, you literally target, have luck to give you more Bennies. Your target number know, is four, so it's, it's not that hard. But you also have a minus three. Yep. Wait, minus three what? No, he's minus one. Why does it have minus three? Oh, is it, it, is it trained? He's trained in throwing? He's, oh, are you trained in throwing? Is there a check no. mark next to throwing? Oh, so it's untrained, so it is a minus three. Use your bennies. Use all your bennies. <laughs> I'm gonna. I am gonna use one benny. Throwing all a right. butcher knife at a spoopy guy in the basement. Spoopy guy. All right. So make uh, that throwing roll again. You want to hit a four? I know. Hang on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> 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 so you throw your knife at the guy. You completely miss him. Uh, uh, hits at, the deputy. It, it does. Well, that's the other <laughs> direction. But you do. You throw it. You throw it past him. It doesn't even hit him. 
uh, and he scrambles to go pick up the knife. Um, yeah. Now he has another knife to throw. Uh, the deputy is gonna gonna take a shot here, past you guys. Somebody want to roll the the shooting? It's a it's a d8. That way, if it hits um, you, it's not my fault. Have Graham roll it. Have Graham roll it. There you go, Graham. Slash roll d8. He hits. Bang. All right, he does. He. I'm hits. assuming he's trained in shooting. He is trained in shooting, and I believe the gun is uh, 2d6. 4D6. Is Plus it 4d6? No. no, it's 2d6. Okay. All right. Graham, you roll it. All right, so he shoots him. What the hell? <laughs> no, Bill. That's not how that works, Bill. You can't just roll 12. <laughs> Uh, so it shoots at him. It, it kind of grazes off his shoulder, um, kind of leaving, leaving a, a little divot in his arm, but it doesn't, um, doesn't actually hurt him much. Um, and he, he scrambles and grabs, grabs the knife off the floor. Uh, what do you guys want to do while the gunshot happens and, and, uh, you're kind of standing in the crossfire at this point. Yeah. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna fall to one side, so I'm like, like my back is to the wall, and I'm okay. trying okay. to make as little space as possible. And you're, uh, you're outside, uh, Johnny, and you hear you hear a gunshot from outside. Yep. Uh. So the 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 guy is going to try to throw. Uh, I mean, I know none of guys. I know none of my friends have guns. But the cops have guns, so I'm mm -hmm. assuming the cops are shooting the bad guys. All right, so he shoots. He he tries to throw his knife at uh at Bill this time. Uh, and that would be. Yeah, but I have deflection. <laughs> <coughs> D. What did I make his? I don't remember now. Uh, D two. D D ten. Does that work? Yeah, it does. It didn't add them together. That's weird. Um. All right. So eight. So does an eight hit you? Well, it wasn't eight. It was one. You rolled one on a d four, and didn't yeah. it? Did not roll the d ten. Oh, it didn't roll the d ten. Sorry, I was yeah, looking at the seven. One plus five, so six. Oh, you put a plus sign between them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So six so, damages. So six damages. Nope. That does not hurt. I you. am immune to piercing weapons, apparently. <laughs> okay. Stairs, so he... arch nemesis, <laughs> piercing <laughs> weapons. So he picks up his knife and he throws it at you and not hit you. Uh, and uh, the, the where's the knife land? The knife uh, would land next to you guys. I'm gonna grab the knife and try to throw it back again. Oh All right, do it. <laughs> Make that throw roll. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, this is I, why you weren't picked I, for the team. I mean, it's better. You're only embarrassing yourself. Uh, it's Please better stop. than before, but I'm this amazing. time it lands like right at the bad guy. Um, and he picks up and he starts moving forward toward you guys. Uh, and the cop's going to take another shot. Graham, you want to roll that for me? Did I even try it? Was a D... What was D8. It? D8. it was a D8 in shooting? He's going to Benny that. Cop's not a wild card. Just kidding. Sure, sure. the cop can the cop can get a bunny card or a bunny point. Um, <laughs> I have a common bond, and uh, <laughs> right. me and the cop go way back. Yeah, um, yeah. So he shoots again. It goes wide. Uh, it it kind of pings off of off of the wood, um, and the the ice cream man starts moving forward with his knife. So now he's going to try to um, he's trying going to try to cut roger 
I think Roger's probably down the stairs more. I'm going to persuade him. You're going to persuade him not to cut you? Go ahead. How's that going to work? Gonna... How are you going <laughs> to... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> for your life. <laughs> yeah, look. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to try to convince him. About it? Uh, yeah, man, I'm going to be like, I'm rich. I can set you up, man. Look. Uh... His persuasion is pile of bills and throws them down the stairs. <laughs> roll it. What roll. Are, what are, make make a persuasion roll. All right, let's do this. Nummy, nummy. I mean, that's not that's bribe. It's not persuasion. It's just <laughs> um, throwing money he's, at your problems not until they go away. Turned by the yeah. sight of the almighty dollar. Yeah, no, he's he is not deterred. Um, so his fighting is against your parry. Uh, your parry is a five, and he rolled a six, so he succeeds. So he's going to try to cut you with his knife. It's um, my knife. It, well, the a knife, knife I stole from him. At this point, I don't know whose knife it is because it's been thrown <laughs> around quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. So that is. Uh, There we go. Ooh. So he he cut you for twelve damage. Um, your toughness is six, so that is uh, a wound. That is a wound. So you are going to be wounded now. Actually, well, that's I have two. This is that's two wounds for me. This is your second wound. Yeah. So you now have two wounds. Uh, so he kind of slices slices. You probably put your arms up defensively, and so he gets you along the forearm. And more uh, importantly, you are now in melee. You are now in melee. So would you like to try to <clears throat> fight him off? Uh, I want to kick his knee. All right. So make a make a fighting roll. All right. Um... Fortunately, I'm pro prolific. Pro pro. What's the word? Proficient? Proficient? No. You were you were trained. Why was it? You were trained in fighting. Yeah. Why was I trying to say prolific? I. <laughs> you tell us. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that that hits his parry. Uh, so now you're gonna roll strength as your your damage. So your strength is a d4. You're just punching him in the face. He's trying to kick him in the knee. Uh, okay. Kick him in the knee. Mm. Which I mean, you're on the ground, so that makes sense. Yep, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, so you're able to hit him, like you're able to kick him, um, but you're not able to kick him hard enough with where you're laying and your your leverage to actually attack him. Uh, Bill, what would you like to do? Um, <clears throat> He's go close for enough for melee for you. I'm going to grab that loose knife. Okay. That was left over. Yeah. Um, and I will try to save uh, Roger. Okay. Stabbings. All right. So make make a fighting roll. You're good at fighting because you're a wrestler. Um, it does not beat his parry. Would you like to Benny that roll? Nope. No. Nope? All right. So you go go to slash slash at him. He's moving around too much. Um, you're you aren't able to kind of uh, gain any ground. Uh, I think the the cop there is gonna try to take uh, another shot at. Uh, at our bad guy, um, Graham, you wanna you wanna roll that for us? I was gonna die. Come on, one. Come on. Oh yeah. One. Come on. He's shooting one. into melee. Shoot into melee. Oh. Okay, so he 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 shoots successfully. He he doesn't shoot one of the the kids. Uh, so roll two d six. All right. So again, he's he kind of grazes him. But he's, Come he's, on, he's, cop. Not, he's not able to hit him hard enough to. So uh, what we're, we're we're really figuring out here isn't that Jason or Michael Myers are actually indestructible or or super tough. No, nope. it's just all everyone involved just can't roll for shit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all horror movies are yeah. definitely PGs with ones. Yeah. Um, you guys are basically stormtroopers without the cool armor. All right, so Johnny, did you do you want to do anything? You're kind of hearing these gunshots going off in the house. Bang, bang, bang. 
and there's been three gunshots. Um, uh, what are the cops out in the front yard doing? Uh, so they are slowly moving surrounding the house. Um, but uh, they're trying to take up different angles on the house in case the guy comes out. Uh, man, I really don't want to go in the house. Especially now that I got this cool rifle and I hate this. And I, you, you're welcome to stay there if you want. Yeah, I'm just going to stay out and cover the front because, okay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, uh, a sports car right here. I've got a bike stashed over in the woods for my little brother. Yeah. So I'm good. Sure. I'm just going to take up point because eventually this ghost is going to, this bad guy is going to come around out the front door and I'm going to be a hero. Right. He'll be no, in here. No, I think he's just going to. I think he's just going to go back to murdering your little brother. It's not my brother. My brother's at home. <laughs> or my uh, my nephew, I mean. Yeah. Your your right. little brother's best friend. All right. So the uh the the ice cream man is going to try to uh try to stab uh Raj one more time. Can I come yeah. in with an action? Yeah, go ahead. I want to use my flashlight to try and blind him. <laughs> okay. Since he's coming out of the dark basement. <laughs> Dead by daylight yeah, yeah. style. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Make him drop the corpse. Make him drop me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let me, uh, let me do, re-roll that, that, let's see. Cool. And you know that nerd is running with a sapphire lens and a, a extra strong battery. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that, that will give him a negative two cool. being blinded. Uh, he rolls a two, so he swipes at, uh, he swipes at Raj and, and misses. Uh, what do you, what do you want to do about that, Raj? Uh, and now you guys can see this guy very clearly. I mean, you, you, you can... He's made of ice cream. He's made of ice cream. <laughs> what is this? It Ghostbusters? Are you going to try to try to fight him off some? Yeah, I'm going to try to kick him again. All right, so make your fighting roll. And his dick. Are you, are you doing called shot dick? Because there's a minus to that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Fighting, you said? Yes. All right. Do you want to Benny that? Yeah. Okay. I think I have one left. All right. You have one Benny, one more Benny after this. There. Okay. So make your, oops. I did the wrong one. There we go. All right. Yeah, you do. You take a kick at him, and you. Uh, Bill, what do you what do you want to do? Absolutely nothing. Would you like to Benny that? No. Okay. <laughs> to true night sun style, no Bennies. All right. <sighs> Bennies are a crutch. All right. We both have fighting, and we're fucking terrible. Well, we're also. We Deeply wounded. You are very yeah. deeply wounded, but you're taking a lot of negatives for being so hurt. Uh, so, Graham, you want to take a, a shot for the cop for us? Yeah. All right. That's a success. So, 2d6. Come on, headshot. All right. So the cop shoots at him again, again, just kind of grazes him, <laughs> doesn't hit him hard enough. God, man, these rolls today. Uh, We've been uh, killing the rolls up until this point. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> the the ice cream man is actually going to start, like, climbing past you guys. Um, trying, He's going to try to get up top to try to um, get at the cop who's shooting at him. He kind of feels like he's probably a bigger threat than you guys are at this point. So, do you both want to take a uh, stab attack, him in the back? Uh, yes. Stab him in the back attack. Did I get a bonus for that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are just flailing wild. Um, you kind of how hit many knife fights do you think I've been in? You guys are hitting each other at this point um <laughs> and he's able to kind of clamber past you guys and get up to the 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 cop 
Um, and so he's going to try to attack the, the cop. Yeah, stab him. Stab him. All right. How did that work? Oh, I didn't slash roll. What? What? It's the ing. What? <laughs> I'm so good at this game, guys. <laughs> oh, you were literally, you were typing rolling? What? Yeah. Were you typing? Oh, gotcha. Um, okay, so it, it, uh, rolling. Yeah, so, uh, he, he swipes at the cop, but he misses. He's now up there next to you, Graham. Uh, what do you want to do? So, does this cop have a billy club in his belt? Uh, yeah, it's hanging off his belt. I'm gonna pull it out of his belt, and okay. I'm going to... I'm actually not going to swing it at him. I'm going to kind of hold it like this and try and push him back so he falls down the stairs. Okay. All right. Uh, so you're, oh, you're, great. I can't wait till he fucking falls so on you're, me. You're trying to shove him down the stairs with the belly club. Yes. Okay. Uh, so why don't you make a strength check? Okay. Um, and I'll give, you, I'll, give you, I'll give you a plus one for the belly club. I will take it. Why does he have my club? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Sweet. Apparently uh, he went Super Saiyan. The nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Picked him up the... and threw him through the wall. Is that legit? <laughs> yeah, that's legit, man. You rolled uh, your... Oh, I blew up my wild die six, three six, times. <laughs> So you actually blew up your D4 as well, um, and your D6, but you blew up your D6 twice. Holy so, shit. Uh, or three times. So, yeah. So you, wow. you give him this really uh, uh, hard shove using the billy club, shoving him down the stairs. And he goes um, through two walls. And... and this is why you don't fuck with nerds. <laughs> why don't you roll a 3D6 for his fall damage? You know what? Actually, it would be 3d6, but it's a raise, so why don't you do 4d6? That's how hard you shoved him. All right. So you you sh shove him with all your might, and he falling back end over end. Uh, he he slams into Bill and uh, Raj. Kind of continues to fall backwards over the top of them. Um, and falls and lands at the bottom of the stairs, breaking his neck. Jeez. Yeah. Did he drop a, kni did he drop a knife? Yeah, I, plus one knife. Yeah. It's an upgrade for you. Yeah, I'm sure he dropped his knife on his way down. Can I throw it at him? <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. Here we go. I um I drop the club and I go and help those guys up up the stairs. Okay. Yeah. So you get down there. Uh. Y yeah. You just chuck the knife down at the bottom, but it it doesn't it doesn't. Ching, 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 ching. It, yeah. It doesn't hit pay dirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the cat the cop. Um. This is where you go and double check by shooting him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> so he he goes downstairs. He he uh he goes and and checks for for a pulse uh and doesn't feel one. Then he comes back and he helps the boys up the stairs where's tommy uh i don't know where where is tommy well, we don't need to be helped up no i, I figure at this point yeah we'll go downstairs we'll, then. we'll go down the stairs not up the stairs okay uh yeah, i don't know you tommy. you boys said there was uh i got the flashlight i go looking tommy for down here yeah i'm gonna go look for where the killer came from that direction okay all right so you get down to the bottom um you flash your light around yeah the like kind of crawl space that crawls back into the rest of the the basement area. Okay. Go on. So you crawl in there? Yep, I'm gonna crawl in. Okay, so you crawl in there, flashlight forward. Um as you as you make your way into the basement, you see lying on a pallet in the middle of the room uh a dead body. Mm -hmm. Um no. should have should have looped the pallet better, Tommy. Of a uh, <laughs> Of a child, there's a, ch there's a child's dead. All the Dead by Daylight references. Um, there's a, a child's dead body on the on the pallet. Oh no! All right, no! I'm gonna go pick up Tommy. 
Okay, so you go over to the kid. Um, this is actually a little girl, uh, and it seems like this body's probably been here for a few days. Tommy was a girl. Um, I, as I you kind of, anybody. as you flash the light around the room, you see kind of like a workbench against the far wall, and laying on it is Tommy, who is tied up um, oh. and gagged, and he's kind of like wriggling around, trying to get your attention. Wriggling. Yep, we're going. Wriggling. Wriggling okay. around. We'll go free him. All right, so you go over and you untie Tom. Crying, he's got tears running down his eyes. Super traumatized by everything that just happened to him. You tell him he, he, to... he's dead. He's dead. So you're able to get him, you know, passage the crawl space. Um, by that point, the, the cops got a, a sheet over the body of the... Can I grab uh, the knife that I threw? Sure. Yeah. As we walk back by and stab him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sure the the cop uh, is, you know, trying to help Tommy get out from the horror that he's been uh, trapped in. So he's he's not paying attention. So if you want to stab the ice cream man, you can go ahead and do that. All right. That's going to be, I stab assume, him. boating. <laughs> that is totally, you were going to boat the hell out of him. All right. <laughs> Uh, so he, because he's dead and defenseless, he has no parry, so you absolutely are able to, to hit him. Okay. Maybe you might get a zero, roll it. <laughs> he stabbed the floor next to <laughs> him. Yeah, I roll a two. Okay. Yeah, so you're able to stab him wherever you want. Right in his dick. Okay, sure. Right. Um, uh, <clears throat> finally landed that knife, though. <laughs> finally, finally found Pater. Yep. I will say that this says something awful about this poor town. That a little girl was missing for three days, and it wasn't until the rich kid went missing that anyone noticed or cared. And then it got solved within a matter of hours. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe she was from a different town. There you go. Yeah, but this guy has an attic full of corpses. I don't know that. I didn't go inside the house. You guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are able to uh, way outside um, by this time an ambulance has shown up um, and uh, they, they're able to give Raj and Bill the medical attention they need for all of their cuts and scrapes from falling and such um, and uh, Tommy Tommy's returned to his mom so good job guys you defeated gonna, the ice cream man I'm gonna hide the police rifle in the trunk of the deluxe. Yeah. Yeah, I figured, I figured that was going to oh, happen. I, I'm ge I, oh, great. I'm getting... <laughs> pri pri prison time for that. <laughs> yeah, it's a 50. You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a little uh, th uh, gun theft. It's fine. You return it and, and they're... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, cool, guys. So, yeah, you were able to save the day. Good job. And everything job, in this Midwest town goes back to being quiet, quaint, 50s suburbia. Yay! <laughs> does, does Bill get his, his parade? <laughs> Bill totally gets his parade. He's got some cool scars that chicks super dig. And, and mm -hmm. you were totally the hero of the town. Uh, someday when you, Roger, run for say that you were you should be mayor because you uh, protected the town even when you were a teenager and on a platform of, of how awesome you are <laughs> and uh, yeah you guys, uh, you guys fade into the sunset hooray hooray I assume well, I assume. win <clears throat> I assume Johnny fades into the sunset on Tommy's bike that he stole. <laughs> Graham is the hero. What? Good job, Graham. I love it that the nerd is the one who saved the day. Uh, nope. The sports guy and the popular kid were completely incapable of protecting Punk himself. ass bitches. Total, totally useless. How many knife fights do I get in? Not many. That is and how many. You're yeah, not in the like... knife fight club at school? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I start one immediately after. 
That is, the, that is the most clutch Savage World blow up I have ever had. Oh my god. I mean, I don't yeah. know what you guys were expecting. The nerd shook down the, the rich guy right at the beginning yeah, of the he, game. He he's like, been he's playing this for ages. <laughs> he's really the bully after all. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The, the nerd is actually the bully after all. Well, you know, awesome. I, felt, I felt like my character was pretty useless, but when I think about the grand scheme, Johnny was the most useless. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was able to break you into the house. Yeah, and I was able to take the, the bully nerd to get the reinforcements. All I know is I played my character perfectly. I got the ice cream truck right away, so I am very investigative. I know. I was When you said ice cream truck, I was like, man, I haven't even seen song yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks, Gidget. Right, cool. Well, thank, yeah, thank you so you much for watching today, guys. Uh, this was a Gidget Presents one shot, which will very rarely happen. Um, and uh, our next our next show will be tonight at 8 p.m. We'll be doing our, our uh, Nerdcast. Uh, we'll be talking about scary movies and, and more spooky October stuff. Um, if you're just here for the uh, actual plays, our next one will be in November, on November 10th. And we will be continuing our Dungeon World campaign with Kurt at the helm. So we'll see you next time. Hopefully Thanks, everybody. Hopefully sober's up by then. Yeah, hopefully hopefully sober's sober's up by by then. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. So